people do it. It's nothing bad. It's nothing bad. Okay. Yunamikian. Too strong. <laughs> Explain. Piccolo fused with Kami. The fuck is a Kami? Basically God, but I'm still here. Do you really believe your own hype that much? I am the hype. I am the hype. I am the hype. I am the hype. That's my purse. I don't know That's you. That's my purse. I don't know you. Oh my god. Can somebody type that in, please? Oh my god. Can somebody do it in the Australian English, too? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Brian, all right, maggots, listen up. Popo's about to teach you the pecking order. It goes, <laughs> you, the dirt, the worms inside of the dirt, Popo's stool, his tongue, Kami, then Popo. Any questions? That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> I am loving this. I don't welcome know back you. to the hell. Welcome back to Fun with KD Bot. I'm your host. Yes, KD Bot episode uh Episode uh 420. <laughs> yeah. Just blues! Oh uh, shit, I need another drink. <laughs> did you did you just finish your drink right as we, as we started? You fool. We have been cheering for chilling for a bit. That's true. What are we doing now? I'm sorry, I just got back with a uh nice little drink i was asking if you had just finished your drink and needed to get a new one right as we were starting which the answer is yes yes quite yes but i was <laughs> quick <laughs> professionalism has standards and they're fast professionalism like <laughs> be polite be efficient have a plan to kill everyone you meet and if that fails, cry and piss your pants, maybe. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I know what I was going to type. I need uh, to rustle for this one. It's the last one, I swear. Okay. Last ah. one. Last one, then we shall begin. Yes. <laughs> Can we hurry this up? I I've got a, a date with Strahd's fangs on my neck. His last words gonna cry piss your pants maybe maybe shit and come <laughs> uh, oh excuse me <laughs> nice nice capper at the end there keep it clean guys yeah we are live now we that are live true. Uh, that's true that is true hey it was an old meme i will say though i've probably said worse on my channel Eh. You've all eh. heard me scream in terror. True. Alright. I, I have nightmares of phasmophobia now. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that phasmophobia run was crazy. Just give oh, fucking dude, time. It gets worse, and the best part about it is we have some of those moments clipped forever. <laughs> are you guys okay? <gasps> <laughs> me and Paz are just screaming like, ah, Get us out! Get us out! Get us out! Get us out! I, I don't think I was screaming, but you could just see me pacing around with the cross out yeah. walking in front of the camera. Spirits be gone from this place. Like, oh, my, me freaking out on my neck snapping was a brilliant one. Dude, seeing that fuck, seeing that old lady do it, it was just like, oh no! Oh god! Whoa. If someone goes back and clips that, I'm gonna <laughs> cry. Just my be like, and Haz is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Check my page. Uh, my neck getting snapped was clipped. Oh, good. No, I... Oh, perfect. Even better. All right. Let's begin. All right. All right. the Lord's Prayer. Everyone, welcome to our third episode of Curse of Strahd. Who's yeah. excited? <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> Quick, now, make yourself look bigger. That doesn't work with vampires. It it's okay. If I tell him he's not allowed here, he by law has to leave the camp. 
<laughs> he is legally ob look, he's legally obligated to tell you he is lawful evil. <laughs> he's so, he's polite evil. Polite evil. That's a good way Romanian of playing. Romanian evil. So uh heads up for everyone. Uh we could not get uh Trace on the horn. We yes. uh are keeping the seat open in case they join us later, but we are going to be proceeding without them for, for now. <clears throat> so, no worries. How is everyone this evening? In the arms of Kurt Angle. Doing alright. Probably gonna die. I probably <laughs> should have rolled up a backup character before the session, but that's a problem for later. The fuck is backups? YOLO. <laughs> YOLO. Not in Barovia, my man. I mean, you're uh, you're kind of right if we die and come back as vampires. True. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot of undead prowling around, that's for sure. True. So what you're telling me is we just gotta napalm it. <laughs> well, what you're telling me is we go and do another campaign, we get, like, level 14 to 16 characters, come back to Barovia, and just nuke the place. <laughs> so, uh, before we go ahead and get started, uh, how about we do a little shilling? <gasps> Shill? Shills? We'll start with the stream owner, Tart. That's me. Where do they find you, and what are they up to? Hello, uh... You can find me here at twitch.tv slash farting tart, also on Twitter under the same name. Uh, I do lots of dumb bullshit like this. I'm probably going to die tonight. It's going to be fun. You may be more familiar with uh, me as the character Madness on Friday Night Flashbang. So yeah, that's me. Oh, I also play the Eldritch Knight, Grey Dragonbane. Well, maybe that's who you play. Well, well, we'll yeah, we'll out. we'll find out if I'm still playing him in the next like ten minutes. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, up next is our uh, resident tiefling, J Frost. What you up to? What up, demons? It's your boy Skinny Joe. Nah, just kidding. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, my name's J Frost. Uh, I will have you will find me on Twitter as jfrost 747 in a day because I finally will have a Twitter. <gasps> pog, Hooray. big pog, yay! Uh, other than that, uh, you could catch me at twitch.tv forward slash jfrost 747. I finally have created an unofficial schedule that I'll be using. Uh, probably later on, I'll be doing some Left for Dinner 2 with uh, Corporal Canada. Ooh. Uh, and you can find me on uh, enjoying, you know, enjoying the wrestling stream as your resident wastelander and soon-to-be district attorney and tag team champion, Go Wheel, Big Papa Wheelie, the Wasteland Warrior, etc., etc. Pog. Who, based on his mask, should sound like... <laughs> you say that, but wait until you hear the newest promo. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, is that all you got? Yep. Oh, hi, puppy. And the puppy says hi. <gasps> puppy. Alright. Uh, we'll come back to Sensoon in a bit. Uh... Haza. Ye, what is it? Well, I was <laughs> going to see if you wanted to uh, plug yourself. <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? How's it going? <laughs> what up, my dude? Yo, what's up? I'm, I'm Haza is my name. You can catch me over here at Twitch. Uh, Twitch at uh, Twitch for uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Haza is my name. Uh, Twitter. At twitch.tv for uh, blah blah words. It's I'm tired. Dude, that's, you missed an it. opportunity by not saying my name is Haza is my name. Oh no, Haza is my name is usually what I say, but I wanted to mix it up and do it to normal playboy. But what if Haza Ooh, is wow. not your name and you're actually just lying to us? I never lie. 
Ah. Noted. I've played Among Us with him. Don't trust him. Mm. Jesus. To be to be to be fair, I mostly don't lie. I mostly kill until I get caught. <laughs> That's true. That is actually very true. Because I know I can't lie, so I just go on a murder spree. <laughs> <laughs> don't have to lie to anyone if everyone's dead. There's, there's no one to lie to if no one's alive. Alrighty. Uh, and if you're all finished up, uh, Sinsuna. Hello. This is your local mute slash chitbit Sensunu84. You can find me on Friday Night Flashbang as El Polo de la Muti. I recently streamed for the first time in nearly six months. Come catch me sometime this month at twitch.tv slash Sensunu84 where I am playing horror games throughout October. Did that fucking... Did it completely avoid the A in your name? Did it say Sinsoon yeah. 84? It just, it, it's because it mixed it with A-E-T-4. Because it's like A-A-T-4. Dude, I love A-T... Never mind, it was a dumb Star Wars joke. I wanna, I wanna know what it is. Pikachu. Pikachu. Oh, that sounds dirty. I wanna know what it did to El Poyo de, El Poyo de la Muerte. It butchered it. Yeah, it did. It did it butcher beautiful. it. It was beautiful butchery, though. Mm-hmm. I almost want to, uh, like, just, like, pull just that yeah. out just to play it again. <laughs> uh, I mean, KD Bot does speak in different languages, so it could we could probably get a uh, more appropriate El speaker. El de la Mute. Well, that was go. closer. Much closer, I will say that. And uh, I am your host... Uh, CG. Uh, we will be... I don't have anything to show other than the fine other D&D game right here on this channel, hosted by the lovely Farting Tarts That's every me. Monday at 7. Yours. Indeed. In which fun times were had yesterday. Yes, we you, had guys a got a, you guys got the onsen session. Yes, we did. It was rejuvenating, I'll say that. It was very and, wholesome. Uh, Mm, it was very wholesome. Questions were asked about sexual orientation. Does, and that was about it. Is gay bad <laughs> here? Is gay bad here? Shoutouts to our friend Punkyard Dog for that delightful yes. nugget. <laughs> but I am, I am not in that campaign this <clears throat> evening. Instead, I am in a different campaign wherein I play the DM who is going to bring us all back into Barovia. Where nothing bad happens ever. ever. True. As we sing this song, and nothing can go wrong. Oh no, it all went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys ready to get started? Yes. yes. Yeah. Let's see if the power of weave and God can save us. <laughs> Please save us. Alrighty then, let's get me some appropriate music before we start. Minimize my Ambience. notes. Ambience. Ambience. <gasps> Excellent. Oh, that's oh, creepy. Fuck. Oh no. Deep within the land of Barovia, the mist whispers a story. Our party of Dagon the Sorcerer the Thuyon the Rogue, Grey the Fighter, Choggy the Monk, and Hope the Cleric were permitted into the town of Kresk. The Burgermeister Dimitri was caught, was distraught, but entertained the party due to, and along with two siblings, Ismark Kolyanovich and Irina Kolyana, who requested the aid of the party in escaping the watchful eye of the, of the realm's lord, Strahd von Zerovich, who had taken an interest in Irina. After getting some information from the locals, purchasing warm clothes, and winning a silver dagger in a blacksmith competition, the party were exiled from Kresk and traveled towards Madame Eva, the Vistani. However, during the watch in the night, Grey noticed a fiery horse appear, 
heralding a surprise guest who appeared behind Gray with the words, Good evening. Welcome to my country. Gray, you can feel the cold breath on your nape, the nape of your neck. What do you do? Do I know who this is? I mean, I assume with him saying, welcome to my country, I can quickly piece together who this is, right? You have a very strong idea, but not exactly sure. Do, do you want me it's to make a check? It's basically 99.99%. Okay. <laughs> there's just the slim chance it could... It may not be him, maybe? Please? Please? Um... So, Gray is doing that thing where, like, he has his katana, like, slightly drawn to where, like, just the edge is showing. And without turning around to face Strahd, he goes, You are not welcome here, beast. Beast? It seems a bit rude to one who, to your lord. You are no lord of mine. Hmm. And he kind of puts a hand on your shoulder. Just... The moment he touches me, I move away from him. And I, like, step away to face him. All right. Uh, as you do, uh, you see this individual. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Hey. Hey. Oh no, he's hot! Oh no, he's hot! You see a tall, pale colored man with bright red vestments, shoulder plates, pointed ears, and piercing red eyes. His dark, almost wisp wistful hair draping down to his shoulders as he looks at you with slight amusements. Sorry, we're all gushing about Straw's little tiny back. <laughs> yeah, it's actually cute. It's I'm not gonna lie. That that is a a, a round bat. He chonky. Kind of, he kind of fat. He kind of chonky. He bat chonky. He bat chonky. <laughs> um. Uh. So you are uh kind of in a combat stance against him at this moment. Yes. Yes, at this point, I've completely drawn my sword. Alright. Strahd looks at you, holding your weapon. And he goes, I've introduced myself. Who, may I ask, am I speaking to? Ooh, now I need to fucking... <sighs> While this is occurring... What are the rest of us doing if we're sleeping? Fair. Yeah. Cause I was the only one on watch, right? Besides Hope, technically. Hope is currently doing the scarecrow action right now. Yeah. Fuck. She doing the T pose. I look at him and I go, Grey Dragon Bane. He rolled a dice uh, out like that. Hey, uh, Sansuna, could you please roll me a stealth check? Uh oh, with advantage because they're mechanical and don't give off a heartbeat. There is a different reason you're not getting it. You're not getting advantage on this one. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Sansuna, be strong. Hey, that's pr that's oh, pretty that's good. good. One moment I just here. Just run away from a nat twenty. I need to do a little math. Ah, uh, fuck math. Oh, My worst nightmare. Jesus. Oh god. <laughs> Why did we have to start the spooky session on the thirteenth? At least it's not Friday. At least it's not Friday. That is true. Sensuna. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, well, 
Even if you have disadvantage, it's only one point yeah. lower. Yeah, you're still like. Oh no! Like 10 and 18. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Just reading their fucking reactions. Oh no! Oh no! Big oh no! Why? Why? Uh, as Strahd is he doesn't break eye contact with you, uh, Gray. He walks on over to the scarecrow that is currently sitting in uh sitting in the camp he puts his hand on its head and he goes and what is your name traveler is he talking oh, to me far. no he is talking to sensuna okay. to hope you are very far from your realm Yet. Sin is currently typing. That's fine. I remain silent, unmoving. <laughs> um. He takes his finger. You have a, I believe, a hooded, hooded cow. Yes. Cloak with hood, yes. Hey, CG, can we turn the music just up slightly for the stream? No worries. That should do. Thank you. Uh, he <clears throat> takes his long, sharpened nail, and he pulls it down over your head, over the hood causing a slight tear in it. He pulls the finger down, scraping the metal that makes you. <laughs> you do not fool me. But if you have nothing to say, who am I to force you? And he turns his attention back to Gray. <laughs> I suppose it is all right for us to be quiet about this. What are you doing here? What is your intent? Talking Grey. We are currently escorting someone. Oh, you are doing bodyguard work. Yes. <laughs> He looks over to the tents. May I ask who you are protecting? That information is private to the secrecy of our of our client. Go ahead and make a deception check. That's not a lie though. <laughs> Hold on. Mm, you got it's this. Not good. Sorry. Minus two to charisma. Let's go. Fuck, oh, that was almost oh, a natural oh, 20. Oh, Fuck. Oh, wow. Hey, hey, dirty one, though. <laughs> dirty one. It's Not a natural long. one, a dirty one. Who doesn't matter? It's still a one. But let me know, I didn't lie. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, it was, it wasn't a lie per se, but you were trying to mislead him. That's true. Uh, he looks on over to you. Uh, respectable for your profession. But if I may ask, what would you do in this instance? My job is to protect the client no matter what. And if I were to say, and instantly he vanishes and appear right behind you, holding your his head in your uh, his head, holding your head in his hands. I want you to go ahead and make an athletics check. Athletics. Right. I'm good at that. Yeah. Hooray! Maybe. 
16. Ooh. That could be worse. As you feel his fangs approaching your neck, you instinct takes over and you burst out from his arms in a cold sweat. Certainly better than some others I have run into. And how would you defend yourself from me? As he starts walking around a little bit. And as he moves around for a second, as he's traveling, another strat appears in his place. And another second passes, and another strat appears. And oh, another strat appears. There are now four strads in the middle of, of this camp. Oh shit, he used Kagebushin no Jutsu. <laughs> I... Now, now adventurer, there is more than just one-on-one. -on -one. What would you do to protect your clients? I drop my shield, and in my now empty hand, I um... I don't I don't know if you'll allow me to do this. I want to conjure burning hands, but I don't want to cast it. Does that make sense? You want to make a threatening motion and prepare burning hands. Yes, if <clears throat> if that sort of makes sense. No, that makes absolute sense. So you prepare a spell to cast burning hands at Strahd. Strahd looks over to you. A traditional move, but an effective one. And as he looks at you, let's see what he has. Oh no. Wait, what does that mean? Oh god! <laughs> oh fuck no. Incoming! Got incoming from the robot. Optimus Prime help. <laughs> uh, while this is going on, while we're waiting for Sensuna, I'm gonna say to Strahd, I do not fear you. Then you are more foolish than most. With four strids now circling the camp, the mechanical person slowly stands up and moves toward Grey, covering his rear. How wonderful for you to join us now. It was quite rude of you to pretend to be asleep. Though, I suppose, we are also a little outnumbered at this point. Perhaps we should do this more on two by two. And as uh, as he kind of raises his hand, all of the strads have been mimicking his motions at this point, and two of them disappear. I want both of you to make perception checks. I fucking thought you were going to say initiative, and I was going to shit my pants. <laughs> Oh, fuck. This is not going well for me tonight. I guess I did get the athletics check, though. That was the good part. I don't know if my passive matters. My passive is a 13. And Sinsuna's would be like a 16. Okay. Let's see what he says. As far as you can tell, those two versions of Strahd have disappeared. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Well, it is two on two. I am a stranger in your camp. What are you going to do, bodyguards? Can I incite him to see if, like, he's lying about it being two on two? Uh, go ahead. 
That's a 14. Oh! Match 20. Let's oh, go, Hope! Bless you, Sensuna! Let's go, Hope! So, Gray, with your insight, you get the sense that he is lying about it being two on two. However, uh, Hope, you're able to figure out he's not referring to the number, he's not saying that you are outnumbered at the moment. Oh, because eh? technically we outnumber him with the amount of people in our camp. Indeed. He does. Or may As you are looking at him, uh, you hear a shriek coming from the right. You turn and look, and you see one of the Strahds currently looming over Irina Kolyanovich, or Kolyana. I immediately right. rush it. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll. Is that just an attack roll? Are you, well, it depends on how are you attacking him. I am going to two-hand my katana and take a slash at him. Okay. Yeah! Hey oh! oh! Let's go, boys! Let's go! That's my client, bitch! <laughs> oh! I was gonna ask at this point, would the rest of us have woken up because of the screams? That exactly. is a good question. I was, I was about to ask... By the okay. Of, everyone is awoken by the scream of Irina. Ismark gets up immediately, scrambling. Uh, Thuyulon jumps to his feet and pulls out a dagger. And Dagon. Hopping up and whipping out some magic. Magic. Um, in the event that we do combat, do you want one of us to run Lithuulon? I'll go ahead and I'll do Lithuulon if that's okay. Okay. Let's just make a trade. Okay. No worries. We want to make your life easy because you're the DM. As you go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Kia! Oh, oh my god! Wow. Yo! Max damage! Suck my dick, Strahd! Fuck! Literally! Max damage! Jesus! Let's, let's go! Dude. Oh my oh god! My. Greatest session start yet! Let's go! Right. The numbers don't lie! And they spell disaster for you yes. in Barovia! You see, Strahd? There's a 60-40 there's a 60 40 chance here that your ass is going to get handed tonight. As you go and you bring out your katana to strike at Strahd, he holds out his hands and blocks it with his arm guard. You see him buckle under his wake as you feel it kind of carve into flesh. But it does not bend. It doesn't quiver. It merely holds. Strahd looks at you and says, This is a well crafted blade. But, and he pulls out his finger and he slides it across the sharp edge with not a drop of blood coming from it. Fuck, not he's a well wielded. Not very well wielded. Dang. My dear Irina, I am not sure that these bodyguards are up to the task. Irina is almost frozen in fear at this point, and uh, Ismark is very much looking to the two, to the, the rest of the group going, what do we do? What do we do? And uh, he's like... Oh, he will be right between Irina and Strahd. Can hey. I do something since he's right in front <clears throat> of me? 
can I take that burning hand spell that I conjured before and just kind of jam it right in his face? Wait, would it? I would it hit Irene? That's the only worry. That uh, it, I do want that. It's a cone. She would be okay. She would be okay. Oh, thank goodness. <clears throat> so I can uh, I do that? By all means, go ahead and roll damage. Oh, does he? Is he not going to make a save? Uh, well, I mean, you got to roll first. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, just oh, the way. Oh, fucking I... right. That's my bad. Fucking it is 3d6 of fire damage. Yeah. I realize it's not ideal, but it I'll still hits. Get away from my client, bitch. He likes to fail. Okay. Oh. I'm fine okay. with that. And... As he takes the fire damage, he is once again disc disc. Well placed, but you could cause some serious damage to my realm. I wouldn't much care for that. I must warn you. To this point, I have been quite accommodating, I must say. But you have made your move as mercenaries. I offer you one last chance to exchange with words instead. Defeat me that way, perhaps. Before we come to blows. What say the lot of you, instead of having merely this one decide? Dagon's actually gonna pipe up and looking at Grey. Grey, if I may allow this, let me be the one to speak. I pull my sword out of his arm slowly. And I kneel, placing myself. I'm doing like the like the um <clears throat> the way the Japanese kneel on like their uh the mats, for which for some reason know. the name of it tatami mats. And ah, so like two knees forward. Yes, and gotcha. I'm placing myself in front of Irina. Strahd is going to look down to the small frog-looking creature between him and Irina. Go ahead and take your charge back. Hey, we will see each other again, my dear. And he takes a step back from her. <clears throat> I will turn and whisper to Irina. I've got your back, no matter what. Thank you. Chogi, Chogi hasn't broken eye contact with Strahd. Chogi is fierce. Ooh, Chog serious Chogi. <laughs> I like it. Chucky. Oh, man. I would so hire somebody to make artwork of serious Chucky. It's just, <laughs> it's just like the fucking meme of the dude with the blank expression and then the eyebrows come up. <laughs> no, oh it's, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's that image. It's that gif of Saitama at the training facility where he just goes from normal Saitama to... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. One punch frog. <laughs> One chog. Strahd. Uh, Strahd will take a step back, notably outside your camp, uh, and he approaches. He approaches the horse, pets it a little bit, and says, "Now that we are all a little more rational, welcome to Barovia. I am." Lord Strad von Zarevich, I have already spoken to two of you. I am familiar with the siblings. Who else am I addressing this evening? I'm Choggy. <laughs> I love Choggy so much. Like, I hear it because Choggy is. Oh, you broke up a little bit there. <clears throat> What's up? Me? Uh, no. Uh, J Frost broke up. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> no, my compatriots. All you need to know me as priest. 
uh, he. Go ahead and roll an insight check on that. Nope. He looks at you and he says, You were quite rude, I must say. Considering the fact that names normally carry power. And that means that you are powerless, then. I suppose that's apt. Very that's... well. And uh, he looks over to Lothuyalon, who introduces himself. Another group entering my beloved Barovia, escorting my one beloved Irina. We will have meant to be more impressive stock than I have seen before. Very well. My dear, and he looks over to Irina, I shall leave you in their capable hands for now. They should protect you well against, well, some of the others in my lands. And Irina is, uh, shouts back at him, I don't need your protection. Strike goes, <laughs> not that it would protect you entirely, I must say. Do know that the word of Strahd is more protection than this rabble. The lady said she doesn't need your protection, Chuggy will say. Fucking oh. get him, Chuggy. Chuggy the MVP. Uh, to be as naive <clears throat> as one such as you. Uh, by the way, yeah. Chuggy is like visibly sweating. <laughs> Even though he's fucking afraid. His animal instincts have kicked in. He's gonna get eaten. <laughs> he's doing the fucking key and peel gif. Yeah, yeah, basically. Ah, uh, but the word Rich. of Shra is more protection than any one of you could provide. There are many in this land, my allies and my enemies, both, that might want you. It is only through my grace that you may travel as you wish. Simply think about it, my dear. And she kind of cowers again. Ismark is currently vibrating in anger. Uh, he reaches for his sword. Does anyone do anything? Uh, Ch Chuggy that... will look back and just give him like a <clears throat> don't look. I will actually raise up my hand and hold it like without looking away from Strahd. I'm actually holding out my hand towards him and saying, put that blade away. It won't do us good in the here and now. Later. Roll a persuasion check. Yeah, I'm actually good at persuasion. Please. Dice cards. That's pretty Ooh. good. Uh, I will allow you to do that. Hope. Uh, so, with a twenty-two, Ismark lets out a long sigh. Oh, fine, and he sheathes his blade. Strahd simply grins a little bit. There are many horrors here. I wonder if you will be able to keep up against them all. As my lord is my witness, we will handle. Remember this, Strahd. No man rules forever. Eventually, death will come for us all. Even those that try to cheat it with their undeath. You mentioned earlier with your lord as your witness. Your lord cannot see in here. There is no presence of a holy entity. I am the only thing here. 
I am Barovia. I am the land itself. You can no, no, uh, you cannot depose me as you could slay the earth beneath you. No matter how hard the lands quick, the sky does not bow before it. He will look at you. He will look at all of you. I have come for what I wanted. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And please, he hops on his, on the on the horse. He looks you straight in the eye, Dagon, and he says to you, "Stay warm in this sun." And he rides off. As soon as he's gone, I stand up and I turn around. <clears throat> I ask Irina if she is all right, and I go to check her for injuries. Uh, all energy has left Irina. She is a almost quivering at their uh at a quivering mass on the floor at this point. Then I will just do what I can to comfort her. She's just taking did, in breathing. Did Strahd run off? He's gone. You're actually going. Fagin will turn to his group, and you will see. From the concentrated, you know, aggression face to one of very high concern. Uh, Chunky hasn't moved from his, like, from where he is and his arms, like, kind of stuck out. He just hasn't moved. We need to go now. Uh, Hope did type something in the chat. Ew. <laughs> Vampire You're bad here. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, yeah, like, buttons. Uh, so continuing the scene. Uh, it is. It's probably been about five hours since the sun went down. So it's about. 1 one thirty in the morning at this, this point. This was second watch, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yep. Correct. Uh, Cherry will like still kind of stunned, will kind of go up to her hope and kind of just hug Hope. Oh, uh oh. Best. Uh oh. Chucky is good boy, but, but oof. Chucky is wholesome yeah. bean. He's fucking scared. Oh, I don't so blame scared. him. We just oof, big oof. Uh, it's Animal. it's one thirty there, Sensuna. Oh. Oh, I think Sensuna is referring to Chucky. Yeah. I just oh. got. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 Wait, does that even affect a robot? It doesn't. Uh, <laughs> can we just assume that it happens on command? <laughs> like, yes. I, I choose to, if I if I choose to touch someone, I secrete it. But if someone forcibly touches me, <laughs> selective poisoning. Selective. Ah, oh, yes, I'd like to selectively poison. Because I'm assuming that, like, <laughs> if I was like. To be effective poison, it wouldn't be spawning on my, like, hands. It would be spawning on, like, my back or something. Or the back of my hands and stuff. It spawns through your knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> knuckles. You can do, like, the Spider-Man thing. <laughs> thwip, thwip. <laughs> but anyway, just, let's just say, posterity is saying I'm not going to poison you. He just wants a hug. He does want a hug. He's very scared. Grr. Hope there is a very trembling, small, frog-like creature hugging your leg. And yes, CG, I got it. I picked just, that up quickly. Just making sure. It was... Just making I sure. Picked, I picked it up, and I'm not happy. And I'm visibly not happy. As 
I bend down to pick up the small frog and place him on my shoulder. Aww. He just kind of hugged your head. Aww. So sweet. Um, Ismark, who appears to be the only one who still has uh, steel in him at the moment after this shaking uh, encounter, he goes, All right, do we wish to move? It might be for the best. Agreed. Who, who I actually managed to up upload an image. Oh. We have Maxi Strahd here. Yep. Traveling tired is not the best of ideas. I agree with Hope. I believe that we should potentially rest for the, the rest of the night. Strahd is powerful. If he wanted to do us harm, he had the opportunity. Most certainly. He's already done worse. He's already... He always has the opportunity at this realm. He already has worse. Dagon's actually looking towards his teammates. We do not have as much resources as I now believe we used to have. Well, what, what do you mean? I am here on a two-part mission. The first is to, of course, remove Strahd from this land. The second is to inquire about the disappearance of a member of our order sent to this place earlier on. Strahd used a code, old word that we utilize whenever things are quite hostile in, our, in the land we are operating within. As of right now, I believe that my former accomplice who was sent in beforehand has met with a very terrible fate. A old will. Almost choking silence fills the air and everything gets a little colder. Uh, the fire that you had going is now out, but you can relight it and head to bed if you so choose. I, above game, do think we should rest for the rest of the night. Because otherwise we're probably going to be running on points of exhaustion. Or at least some of us. Yeah, it's probably best that we immediately will do it, but now we're definitely going to be a, a lot more edged. Yes. Um, as you all head to bed, you all are... It takes several... It takes an hour... Or so for the people who are too fall asleep to actually do so. Just tense and high on alert, but eventually you do fall asleep. Who was next on watch? I believe it was me and uh Oh Loth was gonna come back out. Yeah, I think me and Loth were gonna do a twin work. I think Choggy still needs to do watch too, doesn't he? Hold on, we can Hold on, we can scroll back and look. Uh, it was Loth and Hope on first watch. Sorry, Lothu Yalan on first watch. Gotcha. Um, I also so... have a quick question above game. Because I'm going back to sleep, do I get my spell slot back? I'm thinking as the DM. I believe that you do not. Okay. You get the you all get the benefit of a short rest, but your long rest was interrupted. Fair enough. Okay. I <clears throat> have one one spell slot then. As you awake in the Oh, what? wow, he looks good. Oh, you saw it looking at oh, his Oh, yeah, his mark looks... Mm. He's a surprisingly cut fellow. Uh, So who who was next on watch then? Yolan. I know we went over it. It, it, it should was... be Dagon and Chogi. Yeah. All right. You two go ahead and give me perception checks. Uh, Eddie... Roddy, Roddy, Roddy. 
Uh, also, Gray, knowing how traumatized Irina is now, is probably going to move his tent or bag or whatever closer to her if he can. 21. Ooh. 17. Um, you can go ahead and do that, and as soon as as soon as you do, uh, Irina, who, once again, I have art. <gasps> yeah, have lost art. out that art. Oh, I, Irina oh. will will uh, thank you politely, but say, please, I'd like to be a little alone for this moment. That hot is perfectly damn. fine. Well, hot damn, out of character. No wonder Straw wants to... Woo! Yeah, look at that <laughs> dope-ass sword. <laughs> oh, man, this woman, love her, but that sword, though. <laughs> That's... Gray, Gray stayed the blade. He knows what he's about. <laughs> Grades blade sexual. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I have what a way to cut the tension. Uh, careful where you unsheath that, man. So, uh, Choggy and Dagon, your watch. Mm surprisingly goes unhindered the more that you look around even before Strahd approached there was kind of a choking air and even in his absence it seems like it's lifted just ever so slightly but is creeping back together you feel a moment of slight respite from the oppression ambience of this place and your watch ends without incident well hot Damn, that's the first. I fucking better. Fuck it. I would fucking think after that bullshit during second watch. Werewolves attack. Roll for initiative. No. <laughs> a whole it swarm. It's Strahd again, but this time he's riding a Dracolich. <laughs> no, we do not go there. Do you like my new ride? I hear all the ladies go for it. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen it is, well, as they say, a hot rod. <laughs> <laughs> it's rod. Guess what? What? Did I say what? Oh, you got me! Instantly cast fireball. <laughs> <laughs> ah, resistant to fire damage. So, uh, your watch surprisingly ends without incident, <clears throat> and. I believe that was the end of the watches. Unless yes. I'm missing one. Yes. yes. No, that's it. That was, we did yeah. first watch last session. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Just double checking. Um, so... You all wake up the following, in quotes, morning. Uh, and the camp is as it was left. Despite its uh, concerning intruder. Uh, you do notice... There are no hoof prints around your camp, but other than that, dope. Yeah, <clears throat> you're all good. Well, thick. Fucking ghost horses, am I right? Fucking Damn ghost biscuit. And Fucking Damn ghost, ghost biscuit. Horses. At least he was polite and didn't leave tracks all throughout our camp. At least he didn't leave ghost horse shit. <laughs> Could you imagine just waking up and then taking your first step and it's horse dung? True. Ghost horse dung, it's like on fire. Oh, not wait, a it's not a normal day. ghost. It's a, oh, fuck, it's a nightmare, so it's flaming shit. Oh, that'd be just a dick move. Oh, I just realized I probably could have made perception checks for Kago during those watches, but whatever. Speaking Kago of which, what if I borrow flying. your bird? Sure. Kago is... Kago is currently flying around in the sky. Squaw! Squaw! So, uh, you are all awake at this point. What do you do? Getting some breakfast, and we're hauling ass. Yeah, getting the fuck out of Dodge. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh... Where are you headed? Continuing our uh, 
I'd say we continue down the path that we were originally going. We... Let me see. I think we're heading to... We're heading to meet Madame Ava, right? That's right. You are heading down this road looking for a place called the Ser Pool. T-S-E-R Pool. Okay. Can you spell that one more time, please? T-S-E-R. T-S-E-R. That's it. Oh. Pool is in just pool. Oh, oh, okay. oh, okay. I thought it was one word. Nope. Nope. No, okay. I get it. Dope. Got it. Alrighty then. Um, as you pack up for the day, everyone write off a ration. Riding off my rations. Riding off my rations. Uh, Ismark will pull you aside along with Irina. Uh, wait. Who's Ismark pulling? Sorry, what? Wait, who's Ismark pulling off to the side? Yeah. Just all of you before everyone st uh, heads out. Oh, okay. oh so, we're, so we're just basically doing one giant group huddle. Yes. Huddle! Alright, living people should... huddle hut. Yeah. Alright, uh... We should probably discuss from here what we're going to do, but you mentioned you were headed to see uh, Madam Ava, yes? Yes, that is correct. We will travel with you for a bit, but uh, I think knowing what we do about Vistani, it would be better if we did not enter the camp proper. We will remain outside, and hopefully we can proceed a bit further after your conversation into the town of Velaki. Out of character, was he <laughs> referring to Vistani like we're going into a camp of Vistani, or we are kind of traveling with Vistani? You guys are headed to a camp of Vistani. Yes. I'd actually like to uh, kind of dig a little pipe up. As much as that will, I will probably have to do that. However, I would suggest for the moment we put you, we all put aside any differences we have with the Vistani. I understand that there is tension between those who are not of their kind and those of their kind with you. But there is I have, a. I have heard that spies of Strahd can be found among their number. I do not trust them. But if you were summoned there, specifically the five of you, then it would be for the best if we remained a bit separate. That is all we are saying. I don't like that. I honestly, uh, until actually straighten up, I do not like that in the slightest, considering the fact that already we are dealing with a disadvantaged hand. Above game, would Gray be welcome in the camp? Since Gray is from Barovia? You were invited specifically. You should be fine. Oh, okay. Dope. Got it. Dope. Just wanted to clarify. However, there is something that I did pick up during that conversation with our many kind of just grits his teeth a little. A inviting guest that did perk up my interest. What do you mean, says Irina? Strahd claims to have full power and dominion within this place. However, he stated that there are those that even he does not control, both in allies and enemies. Mm. 
this gives me an idea. And he's kind of shifting his eyes to Irina. I'm afraid I don't follow. The best way to bring down a tyrant is by small fires in a tyrant's realm, so to speak. Can From you there. say that one more time? You cut out a bit. Oh, of okay, course. Broke up a bit. I am tempted to just bust out my other microphone, but give me one second. <clears throat> the best way to bring down a tyrant is by lighting sp- fires, and he does air quotations, within a tyrant's realm. Fuel them, fan them, and eventually those tiny little embers become smoldering infernos. What I am proposing is that we start to gather forces within Barovia, those that are not of Strahd's control, or those who would find more favorable conditions with his removal both within his camp and those outside of his sphere of influence allies will be needed said is uh ismark perks up but i don't know a grand plan it is but a grand long-term plan it is and as you mentioned you are lacking in resources I cart am. Before the, cart before the horse, my friend. I am. However, Strahd has at least revealed one of his cards. He knows of my order. But that does not mean he knows everything about it. And Dagon's just gonna wipe off a little bit of snow that kind of collected onto his shoulder. Anyway, let us at least get some momentum. We need to be on the move. All right. Uh, Everyone, we are heading out, yes? Yes. That is correct. And Chagi and Hope, did you have anything you wanted to do before we left? Uh, nope. Ow. Okay. Um. Very well, then. You all start packing up camp and heading down the road. Woo! As you are heading down the road, uh, the lights and the mists start obscuring your vision slightly. And you could swear you could see something in the fog up ahead. Can we make perception checks? You may. Dope. Yeah! Can you guys still hear me? Yes. Yes. Oh, perfect. I switch over to the other microphone. It works better. So, rolling perception. Poor. Oh, Choggy, no. Poor Choggy, no. Choggy couldn't no. sleep. <clears throat> Choggy fell asleep. <clears throat> hey, at least we have a 25. True. And a 16. Wait, what about the other two? Are they able to... Uh... So... Hope, as you are kind of scanning the horizon, you see a figure in the fog. It looks... Well... It's hard to make out. It looks almost humanoid, but it has antlers? Oh. And it's, it seems to be holding something. And oh. there is someone ahead, I think. Mm. And this figure, it seems to be just kind of pacing back and forth around the immediate area. 
Uh, does anyone approach? Um, I think we'll probably. All... I will approach. Yeah, I was about to say we'll probably all back up. Hope, <clears throat> since Hope's the one who spotted it. Agreed, in a sense. Okay. Uh, as you approach, you see what looks like a man wearing a deer skull. He seem he's covered in mud, and completely covered in like leaves and nature almost. And he's holding a staff, and he seems to be scribbling in the dirt, moving it around, maybe just cycling through it. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what he's doing. He seems very erratic in his movements, though. Oh. That's... That's a little concerning. Are you good, Jay Frost? Yeah, I'm good. Why wouldn't I be? Mmm, yes. Mmm, yes. Sorry. Go ahead. Good. Uh, considering this man is probably high on life, quote-unquote. Uh, so Hope, uh, keeps her distance, not wanting to startle the, uh, startle the man. Go ahead and roll me a stealth check. Should we all do that? <clears throat> Just Hope for the moment. Okay. Because you all have, you all hung back. He's he's a four. He's it's not terrible. He may roll a one. <laughs> you start taking a step back and a step back and you step on a twig. Instantly the man looks up and around. He's gonna give a perception check to see you. Uh, with a natural 20, he not only sees you, uh -oh. but he sees everyone else in the entourage. Uh -oh. And he starts shouting words you can't quite understand. Any uh, of us that have a language that could understand, maybe? That's the thing. You can't really tell. Every four like words, you'll make out something in common. But the rest, as far as you can tell, is just <clears throat> gibberish. And yes. it's not Barovian. It's definitely not Barovian. Uh, and he goes, I swear, hard ah, vision intruders. Is it and he is going Vistani? To... It is not. He is going to point and then take his uh, staff and kind of just tap the earth and the twig that you stepped on uh suddenly grabs your feet there hope and uh -oh. i'm gonna need everyone to roll initiative as small twigs start coming to life and forming malformed and jagged branches from themselves Ah. Uh... Beans. Well, fuck. Hey! Woo! Good. Hey, that's pretty good. I mean... And we're bringing in the epic music. <clears throat> and Sen had to make a check, yes? A check? Didn't you say Sen had to make a, like, a strength check? No. Uh, oh. that was for flavor. Oh, okay. Um, are our two allies in combat with us? Uh, for the sake of this combat, they are currently not. They are okay. dealing with their own twigs that have come to life. Sounds good. It sounds like a personal problem. Mo you will notice, however, that the twigs are only attacking Ismark. Hmm? 
Can I make an insight check? Can I also make an insight check with that? Go for it. Let's do this. That's a dirty 20, my friend. Pretty solid. Uh, uh, I still need... Seven. I still need initiative from uh, Chalky. Yeah. Oh. We also Ooh. need Lathuyalon's initiative, right? Sorry, yes, but I'm, I'm still... Was not working. No, we, got, we got it now, though. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. No worries. There we go. Yeah, it's okay. Ooh, uh, not bad. Not All right, bad. I gotta roll for I gotta roll for our combatants real quick, and then we'll get back to your uh, insight checks. These guys didn't roll very well. <laughs> That's good. Hey. Maybe. And then initiative for him. <clears throat> hmm. Not the best initiative ro roll for the rogue. Um, Chagi and Lathulian will need to roll to see compete who goes. for initiative. Oh, we also have equal. Uh oh. I'd say a soft d20. Yeah, that's what I always do. I just have them roll um, another check. Uh, Lathulian's got an 18. Chagi? Bada bing. Oh. No. Ah, uh, Levens. Alright, so we'll do Lathulion before Chagi. I'm the 7 to Chagi's 11. Um, do we have a token for Kego? Uh, um, I knew I forgot something. That's okay, I'm just asking. <laughs> if you want, we could just duplicate my token again. Yeah, if... that's probably for the best. I Wait, do you have the uh, quick token creator tool? I'll just, co I mean, I can just copy. It's no big deal. Yeah. Um, okay. I wasn't but right sure. Right now, I'm still, I'm still trying to set up initiative, and I'm also, I also still got to get through your inside rolls. No problem. Hey, it's no problem. Speaking of which, uh, whenever we get a chance, uh, CG, I'll send you over a copy of all the custom uh, borders that I have for tokens, just so we can see Ooh. what's like. Yeah, so we legendary uh, token borders. Oh, whoops. That doesn't sound I good. I accidentally backed out of the game. <laughs> God has abandoned us. Oh, Flynn has entered oh. the fray. Oh. oh no, I'm there's now another gray. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Man, that was, a, that was a freaky turn of events. You could call it a... Oh, no way. I can't call it Freaky Friday. Damn it. I would almost call this a monster mash. Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, you might want to hold on to that one for later. Just heads up. Uh oh. Ah, uh, beans. Big bean time. Big bean time. <laughs> Okay, and I'm almost done with the initiative after that whole debacle. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Gray, as you incite these things attacking, they seem to be intentionally avoiding Irina. Like, one of them oh. almost goes towards Irina menacingly, then it, it looks like it has a realization and switches targets. This has not affected Irina stabbing them at all, but... Okay. But they're mm. fine, right? We don't need to, like, divert resources to help them? No, they're taking care of themselves right now. Okay. And then lastly... Don't like that. I think I might have an idea why. Alright, first up. Dagon. Uh, Hope is currently being approached by these twig-like creatures. What do you do? Dagon, being the good friend that he is, is going to, uh... He's gonna point. He's gonna hold out his hands, and a cold rush of energy is going to start forming, like, uh... 
like a like a ethereal snowball is forming in his hands. And he's okay. going to point it towards the one that's currently grabbing Hope. Okay. And so he's aiming at that one? Yep. I'm aiming at that one, and he is basically going to say, It's time for a little bit of frostbite, wouldn't you say? And he's gonna cast Ray of Frost. Pew! Pew! Pew pew! Pew pew! Twelve? That does not hit. Okay. These things are nimble and small, and they duck out of your ray as it shoots right above their head. Oh, you little bitches. You son of bitch. He's gonna- he'll curse under his breath and he says, Alright. Fine. Have it your way. Does that end your turn? Uh, there is nothing I can do as of this moment. So, I will end my turn. Next up in the turn order is Gray. Um, can I get that extra token Don't worry, for... I'm, I've got it. Okay. Alright. There you All go. Right. Thank you. I'm just gonna and I'm... make... I'm gonna do a little blue icon just to specify that it's my bird. Yeah. Um, bird up. Bird up. Dun, dun, dun. Um, and we agreed that Kago goes after me, right? Yes. Okay, thought so. Alright, so I'm going to start by... Um, I haven't drawn my sword yet. I am going to use my free hand to do a few hand motions, and I'm going to cast Fireball Jutsu at this boy. Or, fi sorry, Firebolt Jutsu. Oh, that natural one. Yeah, that scared me. Ooh. But it's a 19 to hit. Uh, it absolutely hits. Roll damage. That's an 8. eight. Uh, you Eight. launch fire at this thing, and anyone who's played Pokemon or even knows how fundamental <laughs> nature works, it's this a thing critical. rise in pain and immediately bursts to ash. Dope. Oh. Dope as bells. Alright, so then I'll use my movement to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 to intercept this one this one over here mm -hmm. and i will use k i will put kago here to give hope advantage against this guy hey yeah. there you go. hey that's pretty good hey that's pretty good i guess i'll also give hope the help action in the event that it needs or kago will give hope the help action in the event that hope needs to make an ability check for whatever okay. reason okay uh, you gotta be in five feet for the help action, but, uh, oh, that should be... Oh, no, that's right. No, you're right. I can borrow the bird. But that is going to be my turn. Um, while we continue, I will still be listening, but I'm gonna run to the bathroom and get water. Go for no it. Uh, Lufulion's turn is up next, and seeing as how Grey has that one covered... Uh, the Fuyon is going to actually try and take a shot at Druid McGee. McGee. Uh, as he pulls out his bow, the... the Druid starts forming bark along its skin you notice that uh it had the the nature and mud kind of coalesces and just barely the arrow pierces through and let's see what damage he does ouch Ooh. oof big oof uh with a solid uh solid pierce to his uh this uh, individual's arm, uh, he screams in that language that you don't understand. 
and darts away. Well, Loth Lothulion darts away. So he backs up a little bit. Okay. Uh, up next is Choggy. Ye what you got, my uh, frog man? Well, first, I will hop into action. Ha -ha. And I will. Uh, what's my movement speed? Um, I, one, I just want to make sure I got a clear shot first. I won't hit Dagon if I shoot a froggy bolt, will I? No. Oh, well, that's what I'm doing. I'm shooting a froggy bolt. Frog. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Ignore everything else. Ignore the bless. It's a 16. 16 absolutely hits. Haza, question. Oh? Can you flavor it so that Shoggy fires the bolt from his mouth? I'm asking for uh, a no, friend. It's from, it, it's from <laughs> his hand, but it is a, it is his face. Okay. <laughs> that is Does his why. face reflect his mood? It's it, it, it's it like is, a mood but, ring. It is, mood it blast. Is just, it is just a closed frog face. <laughs> um, not the happy uh, frog you guys saw last time. Oh. Um, oh. Alright, that absolutely hits. Roll damage. Get him, Haza. 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 A six radius? Six. Fucking forgot it's Ultra Holy Frogger Wait. Bolt. There is a question. <laughs> Wait, where are you getting the blessing from, if you don't mind me inquiring? Uh, no, I, I, I accidentally. Uh, I've got, oh. Uh, my my apologies. My apologies. Yeah. <laughs> that. Alright. Uh, and then I will run up because I have 35 feet of movement and then I'll punch it. Get him. Okay. What? We got your back, Hope. Oh, doya! Damage. Yatta! Seven blood winning. Yatta! Yatta! Broken. Crumpled beneath your froggy might. Yeah! Good work, Choggy! Uh, yeah, Choggy will dynamic entry that tree in half. Dynamic <laughs> 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 Oh, Hazza, I love you. <laughs> I try. And, I guess that's all, that's all for my turn. Um, all right, so next up is Hope. Hope, 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 hope. Hope, 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 hope. Get him, Hope. Beat his ass. Get him. Do it. Now do it. I'm recording it for the vine. <laughs> Casting radiant flame at the humanoid. Alright, humanoid's gotta make what? A uh, dex saving throw? Uh, is it radiant flame or sacred flame? Sacred flame. Sacred. Oh, so, cool. Yes, that is a dex save. Alright, let's see what this uh what this dude rolls. Uh that is a fifteen. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, no. Yes, no, maybe uh, so. On. Let me... He passes. Okay. He sees you rushing and in like a second of premonition takes his antlered head and just bats the flame coming at him away a very aggressive no 
No. No. He rogaldorns it. No. <laughs> no. Uh, no. It is. Uh, did you have anything else that you wanted to do there, Hope? Bonus action. I am going to raise my hand to the sky and begin to shimmer slightly. Casting Shield of Faith. Ooh. Oh. Uh, uh, the fun stuff. <clears throat> so, alrighty. Uh, bonus action, action, movement. I believe that is Hope's turn. It is now the druid's turn. Oh boy. Uh, it. Uh, uh, this individual approaches, and uh, as you see it a bit more clearly, it is a man. Uh, very hard to tell through the muck, but. Fucking tacking the power of Juju looking ass. He's going to move here. Don't you touch my boy! He's going to thrust open his hands. Pocket sand, sha sha! <laughs> and I need Choggy and Gray to make constitution saving throws. Oh no. I'm good with As that. There's a loud thunderous crack. Comes oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! Right, it was ten. Ten. I gotta turn that off. For bless as well. I love you, Hasa. I have a plus five and I rolled a seven. No! Gray, you pass. <gasps> Choggy, you fail. No, my boy! <laughs> Damn, his Roll DC damage. is low. Fuck, what is he, me? Okay, uh, Choggy, you take 11 points of damage. Jesus. Gray, you oh. take 5. And Choggy, you are pushed back. 10 feet? I believe so, yes. That is his entire ah. turn, though. Just putting down my health. I don't know if you can see that, CG. Uh, yes, I can. Okay, dope. I don't know if it matters, but... No, it's okay. Alright, uh, fine, you don't get it then. You don't get to know my health. <laughs> hey! Oh, that's right! We can you get to know everything. <laughs> that's right, we can if you want to know my health, you can fucking pull up my sheet. <laughs> um, the remaining uh, twig monster approaches and attempts to attack... Hope, being very, very dumb. But let's see what it rolls anyways. Beat his ass, Pope. Pope. <laughs> Pope. Uh, Get him, Pope okay. Francis. Okay, so... <laughs> to be fair. Hope, for the class, you've got Shield of Faith going, what is your AC? Absurd. And well, I, I want to hear this 22. number. Oh my god! I don't know about you, oh. but Hope's feeling 22. Nine total. <laughs> uh, he misses and bounces off you harmlessly. <laughs> Boom! You you just hear this tiny little twig go. <laughs> just twiggies. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, we are back at the top of the round. Dagon. A little miffed. Not gonna lie. But considering the fact that... I'm actually gonna move my way... Wait, where was I? Over... Was it here or here? I'm so sorry, everybody. 
You're good. Uh, move right to here. I'm going to uh, look at our high on Nate brand here. And I'd like to non-lethally cast a spell. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to kind of cast Hold Person. Okay. Ooh! And with it, I'd like to do something with it. What you want? <gasps> Heighten spell. He okay. will have disadvantage on trying to make a save against it. What is your spell save DC? My spell save DC is a 14. That with... Yeah, that ain't flying. He rolled a seven. Yes! Get he him! Ain't moving. He is paralyzed right now. Thanks, Finger Eleven. But, uh, Dagon will hold this man. And with that, forgive me as well. I... Oh, I don't know why it uh, did a double, but. With that being said, Dagon will look to his comrades and say, Don't kill this one. Maybe we can get some information. So, let me mark one spell off. Good shit. And that'll end his turn. So, he will be in a state of held. Okay. <laughs> he is paralyzed, but still conscious. Fucking guru looking ass. <laughs> fucking he's a goddamn bush ass. Sorry, I, sh I should have specified Sly Cooper guru. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Ha ba da da! Gray, it is your turn. Okay. Um, seeing that this man is not going anywhere for the foreseeable future, I'm gonna come right here and I'm going to. Um, again, cast my Firebolt Jutsu at this homeboy. Oh, thank god. As soon as I saw you go up to him, I'm like, oh no! <laughs> ah! Good! <laughs> I'm like, Tart, no! Advantage! Ah, fuck! I'm gonna make a hard assumption that that doesn't hit. Yeah, that goes right over no. its head. Alright, well then... Kego is going to fly over here and give hope advantage on their attack. Oh, thank you. Oh, um, that, will, that will be my turn. It is now Lathulion's turn, and he is going to get into a better position for a shot if he can. He's got a shooty stick. He does have the shooties, uh, and he's going to try and shoot... Uh, the, uh, stick boy. Just puts yeah, it up actual, to the frozen the man's stick? head and pulls the, the trigger. The stick stick or the stick man man? <laughs> this stick stick guy. Very stick much stick. small and wooden. Plant man. You plant stopper. Woo! As you... Uh, he gets sneak up. attack. <clears throat> he does. This we'll just see how much overkill this is. Oh, yeah. A lot. That's mainly why I want the sneak attack, because I want to know how fucking badly he fucks this guy up. Yes! Oh, man, yeah. all we need one more seven, we could get a jackpot. Uh, an arrow goes through and sends splinters out everywhere. Uh, Gray, no, you are hit with, with wooden... Or, Kago. 
Kago is hidden with wooden shrapnel right, going right through them. Hope's fine. Hope's fine. Hope's fine. <laughs> Kago, what's no. A ghost, what's a ghost and what's just metal? There wasn't doing anything there. <laughs> uh, that Nothing ends ever goes that wrong. That ends Lethulion's turn. Choggy. Yeah. Beat this boy's ass, Choggy. Get him. <laughs> Alright, now's as good a time man. as any. I'm going to... I'm just going to beat the shit out of him. Non-lethally. Punch him. Well, yeah, well, I'm gonna. I'm just going to punch him non-lethally, but I'm also going to... Wear him down, him. just in case. Hey, uh, we're all with advantage. Yeah, because, yeah, hey, he... whole person's a fucking great spell to have. He ain't going nowhere. Seventeen. <laughs> so, I want you to hit that number again. Any hits against a paralyzed target, as in held person, is automatically a crit. Oh shit, that's oh. right. Oh. So I guess I'll roll a. I guess I'll roll a d4. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because it adds on to a. Uh... Wait. That's ten. Fuck yeah. That's ten. Uh, punch number two. Oh, he's not having a good day. Nineteen. Uh, that's gonna hit with advantage You're again. You're beating the shit out of this guy! <laughs> oh, oh my god! Give me your money, old man! man. <laughs> We're just beating the elderly today! Give me your it, money, it, old man! Hold on, hold on. It, How it, many it times is, do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? It is, it is the terminal montage just slapping the shit out of him. Oh, dude! You're punching him! He needs to make con saves! Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just realized what this really is. Hey, I wanna ride the Yosh. Slap, 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 slap. <laughs> he's now, he's now uh, a smear on the floor. He's not actually uh, a smear on the floor. Uh, wait, so I don't get my last punch? <laughs> he's already gone. Uh, he is already not thoroughly unconscious. Turkey raises his hand for another hit. Is anyone gonna stop him? Yeah, yeah, Chogi, yeah, Chogi, point. stop! Chogi, stop! Chogi, Chogi! Blood Rush has consumed him! No! <laughs> Take long. Oh no, Chogi is a core knight. And with that, uh... Chogi, sweet over. songs, sweet songs, sweet songs. Ribbity, 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 ribbity. Hippity hoppy, I'm coming for your property. Hippity hoppity, I just can't stop any. <laughs> <laughs> that one was better. Uh... Alright, you have this unconscious man in your possession. <laughs> He's out of now, Yarnin. Alright. Uh, I just so... now saw that we received word from Trice. Yes. Trice will uh, not be joining us tonight, which is totally fine. Yes. He was tired. He was V tired, so I totally get it. <laughs> Hippity hoppity, your head I will boppity. <laughs> Can we please one. look? I'm being real when I say this. I, we need to find somebody who couldn't just like do a commission of like choggy <laughs> slapping someone with the words like right above his head. <laughs> we'll do it, man. We just need to find someone. Hippity hoppity, your head I will boppity. It didn't work very well, but I wanted to try it. Oh, that was. I'm going to have nightmares now, thanks. Uh, I love it. As you are all finishing up, Ismark and Irina get rid of the last of them. Ismark, once again, somewhat caught. Seems like one of them slashed him a little bit, but doesn't seem major like superficial at best arena is unharmed <clears throat> are you all right old friend i'm not that old we only met yesterday but yes i am all right <laughs> kind of raises a finger opens mouth and he's just like drop the mouth like mm, no i'm not going <laughs> well we currently have our uh of nature here to thank for that, and he points to the unconscious druid that they just knocked the fuck out. 
I think I broke him. No, you just- Fucking Zawarudo'd his ass. <laughs> so, Dagon's kind of- kind of reaching to his bag and he's like, eh, Alright, uh, can someone help me tie him up? <clears throat> Gladly. Grey will help do it. Yeah, so... We don't really need to roll anything, do we, to tie somebody up? He's unconscious. Even then, we want to. He, ha well, we'll he has a staff, right? Uh, yes. It looks gnarled, but it looks mostly like just an ordinary stick. Uh, if you'd like to search him, go ahead. Sure, I'll I search would, him. Would, however, I want to do something with that uh, stick. I will say. I'm going to. I'm going to mage hand this. Hey, game, go fuck yourself. <laughs> It's a uh, oh. big old numero uno on that die. Can I roll an investigation? Anyone who wants to will. I know Lothulion will. Uh, I was like, yeah. oh, cool. It's a fucking... I didn't roll too bad on that. I, looked, I was like, oh, that's a nat one. Fuck. Well, he is in prison if he will search pockets. <gasps> Woo! Well, I guess Lothulion won't look on it. I mean... I mean, shit. <laughs> Can't beat a nat 20! Alrighty. Um, Let it be known, I'm so not gonna get a... We'll start from the bottom up. Gray, you look through this man and you pull up leaves. Ah, uh, yes. A druid, Wait. as I suspected. Wait, hold on. Do those leaves have any brown marking? They were covered in mud. That's not what I was asking. <laughs> let's not get. Let's not go too deep into it, okay? Yeah, uh, it was just. Oh leaves. no, not poop leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you know, Um, so <laughs> sorry. sorry. Moving I on. Love you. Uh, hope. Uh, you look on this on this person. You don't find anything. Uh, Choggy. You look around. Looks like he's got a couple like. Like empty bottles. That's about it. Dagon, <clears throat> you find a bottle of wine. Oh, what kind of wine? I believe. Hold on, I have the name, but I had to click away for it for the stats for the uh stats. Oh for shit! The there's features. a name for this one. Indeed. Oh. Oh fuck! Oh, that's oh. great. Oh boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, uh, it oh, boy, is oh, boy. a bottle. It says purple grape mash. You know oh, what? Boy. It's not wrong, but that doesn't mean I'm not disappointed. <laughs> Neither am I. There's actually like, you know, like how in like an anime you'd see like the character's face kind of darken, like when they're like disappointed yeah like, like the uh it's just me it, it's just dagan and gray just doing that <laughs> uh, i'm not going to drink this but i keep this all right and add one one bottle of purple grape mash to your inventory okay let me do that and I would like to specify something when we were tying him up. We're doing three separate ties. One on his wrists bound behind his back. Another to bind his arms to his chest, you know. And another on his ankles. So his, like a three-point bind. His feetsies. Yeah. <clears throat> Wine hobo. <laughs> Thank you, since I love you. <laughs> He's a wino. Why? Where's wino? Bloody, bloody, bloody wino. He'd the goon bag. Bloody wino. He'd the goon bag. <laughs> Fucking winos. So, you have this man thoroughly tied up. Still unconscious. His mark wanders over, uh, as well as Irina. Uh... <clears throat> So, uh, that happened. Uh, do you still have the bottle of wine in your hand? Yes. Uh, Irina looks over in, like, 
it, it, it looks as though someone has just discovered joy in their life. Is that wine? I... I Technically. Mean, technically, I mean, it's it says mashed purple grape stuff. We got the purple oh, stuff. I prefer Sunny D, frankly. I'm more of a crush <laughs> orange guy. <laughs> oh, some purple grape mash, then. Uh, yes, yeah, so why do you ask? Uh, she's looking at it like... She's basically looking at it right now like a puppy is looking at a juicy steak placed before it. No. Oh. The first words coming out of Taken's mouth are, wait, are you old enough to drink wine? Of course, I'm 24. <clears throat> mm hmm. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Some people look older or younger. You look, well, very young. Roll a charisma check for that one. <laughs> Can I roll advantage? Because I'm... Nope! Uh, fuck me. Well, at least just a charisma check. Or, yeah, just charisma check. Yeah, just a s straight charisma. Soft Ooh. 20. Ooh. She uh, looks at you a little pleadingly and is like... Uh, Th thank, thank you. Um, she looks just a slight, a slight <clears throat> bit flustered. Um, do you mind? Looks to her brother. Insight check. <laughs> can I roll the insight check as well? Can he? Sure. Can he assist me? I will let you one of you roll an insight check. What's your insight, Tart? <laughs> Only plus one. Oh uh, shit. I got a plus three. Yeah, you go ahead and do it. Alright. I'll dig you. in insight with advantage. Oh thank god. I love this. Yeet! <laughs> Big Pog! Yeah! There are so many emotions going through Ismark's face right now. But you How can hide it. Terror? Basically. What he is conveying to you through no spoken words is, I don't like that my sister drinks like this, but damn if she needs something in her life positive right now. <laughs> so she, she gives it a look like, yeah, okay. I'll lean over to Dagan and go, let's just give her the wine. After everything that we've just encountered and the night we had, you know what, kid, you earned it. I would definitely want to drink after freaky plant things. Just, and he's going to look to at her. Right before he hands it, he's going to say, just drink in moderation. I don't I... need a drunkard. We have to. It's, uh, well, actually, as she, uh, <clears throat> as she is about to finish that statement, she gets the cork off and immediately stops to start drinking a bit. Ismar kind of pipes up. What she was about to say was, the um, wine has been a bit more scarce as of late. I mean, considering the fact it's colder than, you know, Lake Levistis within this realm. That is that is the strange thing. The We only have one winery on, uh, here, but it delivers all year round. It's most impressive like that. That is good business. And very bad ideas are roaming in my head now because of that. How is the wine, Irina? <clears throat> uh, uh, she, mid mid sip, looks over to you. Uh, it's certainly purple grape mash, that's for sure. But Can I have some? wine is wine. No, Chogi, so, you're, sure. you're not old enough. Mm. You're not old. No, he's only eight. Chogi, you will poison the top of the bottle. Don't do that. Oh, that's a very good point. And she just puts the cork back on. Uh, hey, I've been an adult for eight years. Thank you very much. <laughs> You'll be an adult when you're legally 20 or 18, depending upon what nation we're in. Chogi, physically you're an adult. Mentally, you are not an adult. <laughs> <laughs> physically, you are man. 
Mentally, you are a boy. <laughs> Physically, you are Toad. Mentally, you are Frog. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest session <laughs> physically i am robots mentally i am <laughs> i mean where's the lie there's no lie there we have fun here in barovia we do it's gonna be physically, a shame when one of us dies and oh yeah Physically, I am demon. Mentally, I don't know what the fuck I am. <laughs> I am pervert. <laughs> physically, I am, uh, physically, I'm old man. Mentally, I am weeb. Yours. Gray's not old. Gray's... Let me roll some Older than most <laughs> weebs. Hey, hold on. He didn't. He moved. He's the old weeb that managed to move out of the base. Hold on. I am gonna... <laughs> Because Gray, I've been rolling as, I've been thinking as, like, in his mid-twenties, but I've never thought about what Gray is. Oh, Gray is also 24. I rolled a D8. Oh, shit. You're younger than me. Wait, how old is everybody in this party? That's a good question. I, Gray is now canonically 24. I, I think, I think Loth was, like, late 20s? That's true, since Suna is only three. Sorry, Hope is only three. Oh, Lithuanian, I think, mentioned either being, I think, seventy. Yeah, something like that. So he also is not allowed to drink. Yeah, give or take, he's... give or take one hundred somewhere. I don't yeah. remember what though. We 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 joke. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, um, that's so funny. Uh, she puts the cork back on. We'll need to ration this. Agreed. Usually the uh, <clears throat> usually the Martikovs are good about delivering wine, but their shipments have not reached Barovia proper for several weeks now. It's a little concerning, I must say. I could go for some good wine right now. Okay. You know the uh, the winery is actually not too far from here. If we want to take a look, and considering that this um, person. Uh, had a bottle. The maybe we <laughs> maybe we could take a look sometime later after visiting the Vistani camp. I am actually not objecting <clears throat> to this idea. You know what? If it means we can at least bring a little bit of joy to the people's lives, I am more than inclined to assist with that endeavor. His mark will pipe up. Yes, I. Do not exaggerate when I say that wine is one of the few pleasures afforded to Borovians. Or druids. He looks at the probably unconscious, at the very unconscious, probably snoring now. At this point, actually, he rouses. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Uh, at least he is starting to. Ah, good morning, friend. And I'll kind of like lift up his head by his chin with my foot. I hope you slept well. He's thrashing his head about. <clears throat> oh, speaking of, we should probably take this, and I will take the the antlers or the the deer skull. What race is this guy? He is human. It is a deer skull he is wearing. Uh, as you take it off his head, he is wearing. His his mane is completely caked in uh, dirt and leaves. It looks like it's been stained that way from constant exposure. He looks basically <clears throat> like an old hermit who just stepped out of the mud. <laughs> Dakin will kneel down. He'll keep the staff out of reach with Mage Hand. Sen has a question. What's up? Well, they already oh. asked it. Uh, uh, game chat. Oh, sorry. Um, there is as as you look at the staff, it just looks like a normal wooden staff, slightly gnarled at the top, but it's about it. Uh, it honestly looks like it me. came. It, it wasn't even like uh, it wasn't even like prepared or anything. Like 
you know, like a, a straight shaft. It literally looks like he ripped off a tree branch. Uh, go ahead, Choggy. I thought you were about to say uh, something. Choggy will immediately put on the spear. <laughs> <laughs> Way too big. <laughs> well, he's got a big head, like, for his size, so I'm assuming it just fits. Probably. You know, you know the big frog heads. Um, so you put on the deer, you put on the deer helm? Yep. Make an acrobatics check. What? Wait. Oh, no. Wait, why? Wait, oh, hold up! No. God damn it. I mean, why? you're a monk, you should be good with this, Chogi. <laughs> Please. Chogi. Uh, Irina goes, that's an interesting look for you, Chogi, and you turn your head around <laughs> to greet her with the antlers complete, almost throwing you off balance, like, Whoa, uh. you stay on your feet. Yeah. Wait, what the fuck? Because because of this massive disc helm, I it almost uh, threw you off balance. Have you ever seen? Have you ever <laughs> seen? Uh, how it should have ended, where like Loki turns his head really fast and just whoa and falls to the ground. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what happened. Almost happened with Choggy. Oh my god, Choggy, please be careful with that. You may psst, poke your eye out or one of ours, Ew. frankly. Or impale someone. Anyways, Neil stabs the druid. Spins around again. <laughs> Make another <laughs> acrobatics. Shaggy, no. Damn it, Shaggy's Shaggy, gonna why? fucking stab someone. Oh, 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 okay, it wasn't the one. It wasn't the one. It wasn't a one. It wasn't the one. I really wanted it to be, but it wasn't the one. No. Uh, <laughs> what did you say, Gray? You turned, ah! you turned your head back and. It almost flies off the face, and you almost fall into the dirt, but you catch it at the last second. Okay, somebody stop Choggy. <laughs> and as he says this, he moves out to the, uh, now conscious druid. So, can you understand us? He's looking at you. Mouth still gagged, I believe. Yeah. Blink once for yes, blink twice for no. He blinks one eye at a time. Oh, I don't like that. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, look. He, you see Daganak hold a hand up to his left eye to cover it. <clears throat> Blink once with your right eye, if you can understand us. He looks at you. Can I make an insight check on this man? That, that he didn't he didn't blink. But you can make an insight check on this man. With disadvantage, because there's currently a language barrier. Fuck. Damn it. Fuck. Man. Wait. You can barely her? tell what you can barely tell he has a face. Like you have such trouble reading him through the mud and all the bindings and the fact that he can't speak. Hmm. Um, Does anybody here speak Druid? I'm also gonna try to inside him. I'm just gonna go in bone skull and all to go right face to face with him. Oh god! Oh no. Chogi, you're about to stab what? this man in the eye. I'm not gonna turn around. I'm not gonna turn around. <laughs> uh, eight for the same reason. Um... Yeah, Choggy, you just can't really read this guy. Uh, he's tilts. He kind of looks at you for a half second before turning his attention back to Dagon. I'm I'm sorry. I have a question above game. I was just listening to the music, and I'm pretty sure I just heard a sprinkler a minute ago. <laughs> Is I don't know if I'm crazy, but I heard what I thought was a sprinkler. <laughs> It's slightly rainy. Don't look into it. Okay. <laughs> Strat, Strat's literally hiding behind like a painted like tree. He's, he's doing like the tree. Wizard of Oz shit. <laughs> he's got like a curtain up. He's basically holding a garden hose and he's just making it sound like it's raining. He's just like, pay no attention to me. And he has like his peephole kept trained on Irene. <laughs> hey, um... 
So, same problem there, Hope. But, Hope, could you do me a favor? Uh-oh. Could you please make me a wisdom saving throw? Oh, no. Uh-oh. You're good at those. Yeah! Woo! Okay. You don't notice anything. Did you hear the sprinkler just now? Yeah. Oh my god, I did it. It's supposed yeah, it's like a mix between it's supposed to be raining and then leaves are rustling and it sounds like sprinkler. It sounds like sprinkler. <laughs> I'm we sorry, have, please continue. We've broken the fourth wall. We finally found our DM. We start to kick the shit out of it. <laughs> hey. Mean. Hey, that's what you get for not putting budget into the actual water budget. <laughs> Please, Anyways. continue, CG. Yeah, continue, CG. There, you got water. Um, okay, so... Uh, this... You, uh... You don't notice anything there, Hope. Uh, and this man is still looking at all of you, just kind of... He doesn't seem to be making a motion, aside from the occasional struggling. Uh, you can hear muffled sounds coming from underneath his uh, his bindings, but that's about it. All right. Considering the fact that we're getting nowhere with this, and we do not have either the time nor the language capability to solve this problem, I think it's best if our any kind of looks down at this druid. I guess remain within the sleeping quarters position. Choggy. He's motioning for Choggy, and like he kind of makes like a hand sign of like, you know, like a flat facing palm to go for a neck chop. Like non non lethal, please. Choggy. Chago. Asa. All right. <laughs> Oh no, Hasa died. If Chuggy oh, no. is not there, Gray can just kick him in the head. It will be fine. <laughs> what was that, sir? Oh, there we go. non lethally knock him out. That's what I was quote unquote asking. Oh, okay. Um, once again, um, terminal montage slap, slap him in the face. <laughs> we don't even need to roll. With advantage. Like, I'm sorry. Just I really knock. wanted to. Like, okay. It's funny. As funny as that natural one would have been, you didn't even need to roll. This guy is bound up, tied, and you were right on top of him. You just terminal montage this dude back into unconsciousness. There's a resounding crack as uh, Choggy's backhand makes contact with his face, and he slumps over, still breathing, but on on the dirt. So, who wants to be our friend's, uh, you know, caretaker? Let's look into the group. His mark will p pipe up. Uh, friend, if I may. Hmm? You are unaccustomed to this land, so you probably are thinking about taking pity on him. We kill him! Trust. <laughs> the frog is the right of, has the right of it. What? Anything that, it's what anything we do at home. A... Would you say, Chalky? It's what we do at home. Return him to the dirt. Worried, concerned looks. <laughs> we learned something today. We learned Chalky. Gray breaks a single sweat. <laughs> <laughs> so he will, uh, Ismark will say, friends, anything that attacks travelers does not deserve to live. If we can't, I respect it, and I understand the need for information. But if we let him go, he will attack others. And honestly, I do not think anyone, uh, a wild focus such as this is going to be of any use to anyone. Irina, what do you think? Irina uh, looks over to Ismark, back to you guys, and she says, There are monsters in these woods this 
you may not think it's it is human it acts human but if it's if it is exiled from town it is one of these monsters good enough for me and gray will draw his sword <clears throat> look it's not unconscious I do not feel like it is the right thing to shed blood. Especially when, as you said, everyone within these lands is just trying to survive. I don't understand. How can he be a monster? He looks like a human. That, any points to uh, hope, that is a discussion for the philosophers. I think this is a bad idea, but I will yield to your, we will both yield to your decision. Irina agrees. <clears throat> By the way, I just want to give you guys a heads up. I know I'm not really giving Irina a lot of lines and his mark is taking point. That's literally the only reason, the only reason I'm doing that is because I am a man and that is an easier voice for me to do. <laughs> so just a heads up. Fair Fine. enough. Look, Fair dude, enough. we respect you for it, but hey, it's no problem. We would enjoy your Irina voice, I mean. Uh, <laughs> so, we're leaving uh, him alive then, yes? What yeah, well, kill. Kill. No. No. kill. Jesus, Shoggy. No. Kill. kill for non-kill. No, we're not killing him, Shoggy. Kill him. We'll kill someone else, Shoggy, I promise you. I will get you another kill. Look, we'll find you another stick thing to kill. I grab the frog and put him on my shoulder. <laughs> Gray the, still, will... Still wearing the skull. He'll go, well, he killed this, so we kill him. No, Ch Chucky, no, no. Look. Gray will, at this point, put his sword away. He'll pick up the man, take him somewhere off the road a bit into the forest... Lay him down, leave him there, and then come back. Give him a fighting chance, at least. Remove two of the binds. I will remove is... his hand binds. I'd take him, actually, kind of look and say, actually, remove the uh, arm and the legs. Give him a running chance. Okay. I shall do. Well... Well, a big rat's going to eat him. Maybe. At this point, it is no longer our problem. Besides, he has the ability... In terms of fight or flight, he can at least choose flight. Shall we uh, head on? I have heard the encampment is not far from here. I actually wish to do one more thing before we leave. And Grey is going to go over... Actually, I don't know if Gray would know about it. I wanted to go over and l investigate the things he was just scribbling in the dirt, but I don't know if Gray would actually know about that. Um, you look at the the images in the dirt. If you, I'll let you. Uh, okay. Because even if you don't know like what's going on, it was he was scribbling in the dirt, and then twig things came out. You could probably take a guess, but you look over. Um. The they look like crudely drawn runes, and you're not sure what they're for. Can I make an Arcana check? Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Dope. Can I assist him so that way you can, can make I do your the own, same? You can all make your own disadvantage Arcana checks. Okay. okay. I just wanted to be known that it was originally a thirteen, and then the dice hit and made it a seven, and so now I'm upset. <laughs> Pretty decently on Arcana checks. Yeah, actually. Yeah, I have a zero. <laughs> um, the one thing that you can kind of pick up is that this is a uh, this is a rune for part of a conjuration spell. Mm. All right, then. Smudge it out. Get going. All right. 
as you proceed through the woods, uh, you travel for about another another hour or two. It's hard to tell day from night, but you about twelve o'clock ish. You arrive at, uh, you hear coming down the road the sounds of a fire crackling and uh, laughter as we change up location. Uh, ignore the art, it is at night, but everywhere is night, so meh. 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 Oh. Hello, friends. Uh, oh, that looks epic. <clears throat> and let's see. Ooh, do, 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 do. We're here somewhere. Here we are. Oh. I thought that was going to get, like, dramatic, and I was a little nervous at first. <laughs> well, we found the drama. Uh, you see a bunch of wagons seated around a campfire uh, near the, well, I'd hesitate to call it a lake, but it is it is called a pool for a reason. Uh, there's about five, ten people kind of mulling about. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check, all of you. Hey! Ain't too bad. Didn't do too badly. Mm, definitely didn't fail. Joggy, let's go. Oh, chops. Joggy with the that. What do your frog eyes see? Power. <laughs> uh, blink one eye off to the other. <laughs> do you have eyelids? I lift one eye after another. <laughs> Two oh, frogs that's... have eyelids. <laughs> Transparent eyelids. Oh, oh they yeah, have. They're... Oh, that's freaky. They have two eyelids. One on yeah. the bottom and one on the top. Yeah, they close like shutter doors. <laughs> but but you can't no, see. No, they have. So I blink without blinking. They have three. <laughs> They have what three the eyelids world. per eye. Wow, that is uncomfortably disgusting. Uh, Chucky uh, blinks, but doesn't really blink because you can't tell. <laughs> so, uh, as you look around, um, Dagon and uh, Dagon and Hope, you look around and you see about. Five to ten people, as mentioned. Most notably, uh, compared to the members of Kresk, uh, who were all very pale-faced and uh, gaunt, kind of sad-looking, these individuals have lively hair, very full colors, very tan look to them. Uh, multiple like rings and trinkets on their persons. Uh, it seems almost as if the uh, horrors of Barovia are not have not taken their toll on this group. Gray and Choggy, you see a familiar old man sitting by the campfire. Is it the guy who brought us into Barovia? It is. Hey! Wow! What a prick! <laughs> He dropped us off and then fucking came here? What an asshole! <laughs> what was his name again? Uh, I think I have it. Let me double check. I might not. I don't. Whoops. Dungeon Master? Uh, the man waves you over and says, Everyone, look! These are the new folks! I brought them in just yesterday and Wait, everyone lucky, nearby turns and looks at you and they go welcome yay and they're all like jovial that you've entered old stanimir told us you were coming stanimir oh yes yeah, St that's what that was stanny beer <laughs> stanny beer <laughs> i love 
I love your Chalky notes. They're fantastic. I can't translate them, though. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, I'm trying to remember, like, I'm trying to remember, like, Froggy, but it's just chaos. So, the Vistani, I'm... like, four or five people approach. And they all immediately, like, grab you, like, not aggressively, but kind of like, uh, kind of like a mob. It's like, come sit, come sit, talk with us. Um, Ismark and Irina, they do not grab and bring in. And as they two are left out, uh, one of them, one of them looks like he approaches for a second and then kind of like, backs off thinking different of it uh, and it's like pull on one of their like sleeves and go what about the, my friends points, points to uh the two of them we would welcome them happily if they wish to come and partake but uh yeah it's all right Chagi, as mark says uh it's all right we will Spend time out here for a little bit. There is some private matters I wish to discuss with Irina, anyways. Do you want one of us to stay with you to keep watch? No. It is well known that the Vistani are not in danger in Barovia. We are as safe as possible. Alright, so then. Still, I would prefer at least having one of us remain guard with you. I'm <coughs> with you on. Can't ever turns to a rogue. No, 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 no. Uh, Madam Ava wishes to see all of you. Come, we have we have waited for you. It would be a shame to allow all of uh to have only one of you sit out. Can you at least promise that our friends here? Any points to the two, and to uh, both Ismark and Irina? Can you at least make? sure that these two are well kept. You know, no, no harm, no foul. Uh, they get a little little more, less jovial to you and a little more serious and they go they will have no harm come to them. Can I insight that? I would also like to insight it. <laughs> yeah, I was, <laughs> I was gonna ask too. Everybody! <laughs> Ch Ch Chogi doesn't like his new friends, especially when they've been, like, asked to take care of them not coming. Go for it! Chogi... Oh. I see inside their souls! <laughs> now watch I this! I see inside their mortal souls! Fuck. Better than mine! So, the best way to describe this one... Serious Chogi? Is... Uh, Choggy, actually, let me, I'm going to roll deception, I, I want to say deception, but let's see how much you get. Okay. Um, so, Choggy, you, you get the most of this, so we'll just use your roll. Uh, Stanimir mentioned that there is somewhat of a mutual mistrust between the Vistani and the Barovians, because the Barovians really hate that the Vistani can leave. But the Vistani are only concerned of Barovians for that matter only. They do not have any ill will. And for the most part, they seem very open. You get the feeling that you could probably trust them when they say that no harm will come to them. They won't harm your friends, Choggy. But but why can't they come with us? They have Chogi, they have Chogi, private Chogi. matters to attend to, Choggy. It's all right. Uh, Choggy will walk uh, as we're walking to Madame Evans. He'll do the uh, the fingers pointing to the eyes and pointing at the other Vistani. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you see that, and all of the Stani give a hearty laugh. <laughs> I like this one. He is so... F he is no... He knows what is up with his friends. I respect that. That's great. Come. Madam Ava is getting prepared. Have a moment. Let us, uh, exchange stories. Yes, stories of the outside. Come, come. And, uh, they kind of sit you down. Uh, 
Stanimir is sitting is again sitting by the fire. There is two or three that are kind of two or three of the stunning that are just kind of mulling about. Uh, they do seem to be attending to a large tent in the back. Uh, and there are on, there are two others that seem to be sitting by the fire. It, a uh, somewhat thin uh, somewhat thin looking woman uh, with straight brown hair, split ends, a bit of a fur collar, and in a dancer's garb. As well as another one, a uh, man who has a piercing in his left ear, black high, uh, black hair, wearing a leather vest and a white undershirt. Uh, one seems, uh, the man seems to be looking at Stanimir every now and again. The woman seems to be very intently eyeing you guys. Can I roll insight on that, on the woman? Sure. Just to figure out what her intention is. If she's just like, I, I assume she's just Ooh. being like cautious of us. Yeah, she's sizing you up. Okay. It is common tradition for Vistani to uh, accept most into their arms, but they must have a good story behind them, uh, Stanimir says. Come. Surely you have something you wish to tell. Uh, right well, just the other day we... Defeated a pack of wolves with a dire wolf amongst them. I forgot, I forgot my gray voice all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. <laughs> no worries. Oh, how how did the how did the fight go with the beast? Kind of just like he kind of holds back a chuckle. <laughs> Looks to Lathuyla. <laughs> It's yes, Lathu like, Yalan, how man. did it go? Nah. Uh, we all thought I would like Yalan. I'll like slap Lathu Yalan in the in like on the chest. Yeah. No, we all fought valiantly. It was a good fight. Good fight. Uh, those are quantifiers. Details, details. Well crack kinda of cracks his knuckles a bit. I would say that a few of us Kind of a little bit more roughed up than others. Some of not roughed up at all. All we can say is that, well, every dog has his day. Uh, you are noticing, you are noticing that smiles recede from these individuals. Slow, but it is going. Oh. They seem to be looking. Because you, you guys keep giving them vagaries. They're looking for more, like, an actual story story. All right, all right. Can yeah. we, like, make a check to retail, regale our tale yeah. of our battle? Uh, so I, just, I feel like that would be easier for us. Face, like this, and Chogi would just start ear punching. <laughs> you uh, know what? As soon as, as soon as Chogi starts doing that, they're like, ooh, pantomiming. They seem to like that. You know what? I actually would like to do something. Uh, while Chagi's doing that, I'll basically create a mage hand during this. And I'll make the mage hand kind of like, uh, act kind of like a wolf. So there we were, in the midst of these woods, dealing with the canine problem. Problem. Oh, that was these wolves. And I'm gonna point to Chogi and says, and our friend here decided to lay the greatest of smackdowns. Chogi, show them! And I'm gonna have, like, the hand kind of imitate the wolf trying to attack. Go ahead and roll an attack uh, with advantage there, Chogi. <laughs> this I is also... silly, and I love it. Wait, with this, could I roll a persuasion with advantage to kind of, you know, hype the story? Uh, I will allow Chogi... This is where the advantage for Chogi is coming in. Uh... 23, 23 though uh your fearsome hand wolf sorry that was my it? dog my dog just shook and just banged the shit out of his uh just banged his uh collar the little his tag yeah. all over my trash can and made a loud noise I'm, i apologize oh it's fine uh hit them so hard uh you have 
Chalky hitting this wolf so hard, you can hear its bones rattling very slightly. Uh, and it goes flying off into the distance. And Chalky, you do a, yeah, I'm the winner, kind of double arms up pose. And they all kind of clap about that one. <laughs> oh, if you think that's great, here, try this story on for size. So there we were, traveling down the road. Suddenly, we come across this completely drunkard druid. I mean, we were talking shit face, doesn't speak a lick of common. Oh, yeah, oh, um, you, I, I, you, I did say he took off the freaking skull, did I? Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's where that one got the skull, in fact. I like my Oh, dinner. so you had. You took something from the wild folk then. Wild folk? I'm sorry, the what now? The ones that uh, are a bit too in touch with nature around here. We call them the wild ones. They are a uh, somewhat isolationist and almost primitive race. Or race. <laughs> group. They keep to themselves, but they prowl along the road looking for something. Their goals are inscrutable if they even have any. At least explain part arts where we got attacked by living stick people. And he goes into a regal account, basically recreating the mage hand again, just to kind of imitate like the stick people. Which um, I imagine Gray is will... just a stick figure. Gray Basically. will, for while Dagon is telling the story, will shoot a firebolt at uh, the at one of the mage hands. Okay, make an attack roll with advantage. Uh, let me pull my spells really quick. Hey, yeah! Natural Ooh. twenty. Let's go. I just said the hand you literally erupts into flame. You do. You see a moment where it's like, wait, you mean I can show off my moves and do a performance thing in front of total strangers and look cool? I've trained for this my entire life. <laughs> we power is activate. <laughs> and with the most force, you go, you channel your firebolt jutsu. I, do, I normally do it with easy. one hand, but in this circumstance, I do it with both. <laughs> You eviscerate that stick figure mage hand. You even hear it's like, ah, as it turns to ash. And all of them are like, whoa, clap, 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 clap. And then, and then, we're not even finished with this story. And then this guy, and he kind of just like, uh, he kind of like, this, got this completely wild man. Just, he tries to do something. Then I hold him in a great mat ip of magic. And, of course, he points to Chogi. My friend here, Chogi, managed to perform the same just absolute demolishing strikes upon him. We didn't kill him, though. We let him live. We did this to not, you know, we didn't want to spill blood that didn't deserve to be spilled. He was a confused uh, he... man. He was also drunk. and we. He was just, also like, very drunk. Like, we're talking, like, smashed. Well, no, actually, uh, that the uh, bottle was fresh, it, and not a single drop had been taken from it. Shh. We're still going with the fact that he's drunk. Fair enough. Fair enough. Because uh, we, we, found, we found empty bottles. Reminder. Fair That's enough. true. That's fair. Uh, all right. So, Chagi, one more uh, attack roll, please. With the advantage. Get him, Chagi. Chagi rolls a nat one, hits somebody in the face. <laughs> hits Dagon in the nuts. Oh! <laughs> hey! Oh! You send, you with the little stick figure, you launch it into the stratosphere, and all of them are <laughs> laughing. Dynamic entry! <laughs> Leaf uh, the, the gentleman next to Sandman is like, you found some interesting ones this time, old Stanley. Hmm, they seem to- they definitely seem to know themselves in a fight. The woman goes, Yes, against sticks and dogs. Hush now. There's no way to, to, to talk about our guests. She kind of scoffs a little bit. Well, 
You will have to forgive her. She is, um... Well, she has seen many like you come in. Very few have she seen return to us. It's understandable. Uh... That is... That is our way. You have given a great story. You may ask a story of us. I only, uh, Stanry pipes up, I'm afraid I don't have a story to tell at the moment, but one of these two might have something for you. That is a good idea. Looks to the woman. What about you? What is your story, madam? <laughs> There's not much to tell. I travel with these, uh, with, uh, the Donny in my home. We travel from place to place. But uh, if you wish to know a little bit more about the land, I might have something for you. Can I ask for a specific story? Uh, that depends. Do you have a specific story in mind there, Hope? love this session right now. Uh, they're typing. They're typing. Okay, I just didn't see. We've been told that there is a special relationship between Strud and the Vistani. Can we ask for a story about how this came to be? Uh, you, you actually know this story. Yeah. This is one that Stanimir told you. Uh, so, to recap, and I'll do the short version. Years ago, when Strahd was still a person, he came into the uh, camp of the Vistani injured. The Vistani not only saved his life, but protected him from the encroaching assassins. Strahd, being escorted back to safety, uh, gave a lifelong oath that so long as he ruled the lands of Barovia, the Vistani would be allowed safe passage and no harm would come to them. All right. But that's a freebie that you guys did already know, so you can can ask another for another story. Actually, there is one I would like to inquire. I'd like to know if you say, okay. You say you have a story about the land itself, correct? I have one. I have a few. Tell us of what the lands were like before. For it all. She kind of sits back and I'm afraid that goes a little bit far before myself. This land has been like this for hundreds of years and I am not that old. I can, however, tell you a story about a part of the land that was different once and has been changed. Different? How? By the will of Strahd, the cursed town of Berez. A testament to the Baron's temper. Can I make a history check on that name? You may. E <clears throat> Eleven. Okay. So oh, here's here's what I'm gonna do for you, Tart. We're gonna get through this little story segment, and then I'm gonna have I'm gonna use that history check to fill in a little more details. Dope. The legends say that it was once a thriving town with a thriving community. One too thriving, even in this land. Swollen with pride, they dared to defy the Baron, the Force. Strad is the land. You could not overthrow him as you could slay the earth beneath your feet. The Baron punished. The Baron punished their hubris with a swelling river bank, destroying crops, buildings, livelihoods. Left it a ruin to remind the terrified but still living townsfolk not to take their positions for granted or their lives. It is through the Baron's mercy that they are allowed both. The town is sunken and abandoned now. 
A marshland seems to have sprung up almost overnight, and many fear something powerful has moved in. Dark chanting can be heard throughout all manner of the day, though those cursed into exile, thought to be cursed, thought to be those cursed into exile, like the townsfolk, a dark, murky end for those have been, who have been forsaken in these lands. And with your history check, you do know this to be true. There was, in fact, a town of Berez that, well, no one really talks about or talked about for very good reason. And mm. when it is, is mentioned in hushed tones. Is this where the wild folk come from? Where they originate? Uh, she kind of looks to you a little bit. The wild folk do not come from there. I can tell you this much. I do not know where they live. Though, it is said that of all the people in this land, they may have been the most indigenous. Hmm. Alright. How about before... I know we have business with the madam, but there is one th story I would like to ask, and I will trade a story that has just recently transpired for it. Uh, they will raise their eyes at you, and uh, the man goes, Well, if you have a story, it is your lead. In return and for us telling of this very recent and harrowing account, I would like to know more about the... And he kind of... Out of character, like... What's the name of that one massive fortress up on this that's... Uh, uh fucking... Dur... Not Durina. Um, Kresk? It was... Dresk, was it? Kresk? The, Kresk. the city we Kresk. came from? Yes, Kresk. Yeah. Yes, Kresk. There is a fortress above Kresk. I would wish the to Abbey. know... The Abbey. I would like to know more about it. Of oh, St. Markovia? Yeah, uh, St. Markovia. St. Markovia, if I must yes. inquire. No, I got St. Markovia, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, got it. The the Abbey of Saint Mafuba. Mafuba. <laughs> Mafuba. That's uh, Dagon. Go with your yes. story then. For it, he'll look to his friends and he'll say, "For those of you that are more climbs and can perform magics like prestigitation, I would rather use this." However. And it looks to Grey, who will be aiding me on this story, as it was to inspire more on your end first. Of course. This is the tale. And he'll actually be very serious with his eyes. His... Basically, everyone, like his yellow... I... Like, irisless eyes, just look, look at them. Of how we came face to face with the very Baron himself. You hear a cumulative gasp from the audience. Everyone within my party can attest to Strahd. And he will turn his attention to Grey. Start off this story, my friend. You were the one that met him first. You'll have to forgive me. I am not uh, as charismatic as my friend Dagon here, but it is true. We were in the middle of our camp, and I was the only person on watch at the time. Amongst the fog, a dark, burning horse came through the fog, and before I knew it, 
There was a chill down my spine and a voice in my ear, rollicking, welcoming us to this country of his. I came face to face with the beast known as Strahd, and we had our disagreements. He wanted something of us, our client, who we are currently trying to escort. <clears throat> he will actually... Dagan will actually kind of shoot a glare as soon as he said he wanted something. Like... We don't the, want that The Vistani kind of look at you. Uh, go ahead and roll a deception with uh, disadvantage for that little slip. I mm. will allow Dagan to make this roll. Okay. Any way I can intimidate... I wasn't lying. That was, I guess, me just misunderstanding... Or if I can just no, slip no, no. of the tongue. This is this is fine. This is fine. I'm taking this as in canon, and Dagan is just like, no, dude, shut up. <laughs> so I'm, I'm basically... I will actually roll an intimidation if, 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 against Gray first. You know what? I'll allow it. I'll allow that. Okay. Soft 20. Okay. Like, there's actual fuel behind Dagan's, Dagan's eyes that scream not a word of this. You can add something, Hope. Because uh, the the Vistani, you, you shut up, uh, you shut up Grey, but the Vistani are like a client, so if you want to add a distraction to the story there, Hope. Again, guys, Grey is not very charismatic. <laughs> no. No worries, dude. It's fine. Don't worry. That's why we're playing damage control. <laughs> uh, Sinsuna is typing. Yep. That isn't true. He wasn't on watch alone. I was on watch too. Still as a stone, even when the Lord approached me, and tried to grab me. Even with that, I didn't move an inch. Yes, our friend Hope here acted as a... a century of sorts. It is true, Stanimir pipes up. She can be quite unnerving from time to time. No offense, but we were we traveled together for a few days, and uh, even when she was asleep, she looked like she was awake. Very strange. Uh, and they have forgotten about that little slip of the tongue. Right. Oh, thank you. the beast! They are now more. They are now more interested in Stanimir, kind of, mm. and what. Uh, what hope is currently looking you know what hope is so if you want to jump back into the story gray right the beast made threats he got one point tried to sink his teeth into my very neck but i held my ground i struck at him but he did not draw blood by that point the rest of my companions had awakened and I will let my more charismatic friends take the, the reins on the story from there. And then he'll gesture to Dagan. Here, this Thank potato you. is too hot. Thank you, Gray. Now as such, our friends indeed, indeed strike at Strahd. He was a strike that was true. And even with that... The lord of this realm himself swiped his own finger against the blade, but no blood. And from what I saw, it wasn't just himself, but he could create a copy of himself. Multiple. However, after some diffusing of the situation, we had a chat. And... Of course. The chat, mostly, and he recounts as he tells. It was 
a greeting, and that's how he was interested in us traversing his countryside. And that, so long as we followed the simple laws of the land, no harm would come to us. Uh, if you want to interject there, Hope, this is a good time. They are forgetting the most amazing part of the story. Oh. What's are we now? Oh. Is it now? Oh, yes. Of Tell course. Tell about his deed. Oh, you're right. Shit, I nearly forgot about that. Well, thank well you. I mentioned that the horse was... Yes, the flaming horse. The flaming horse. I didn't mention that. I didn't go too terribly into detail about it, but I did mention it. The thing of this was, is that the horse left Max at all. It almost was as if the, go the horse itself could trust the very realm of reality without ever leaving a mark. And he kind of... Funny. And he kind of actually creates another mage hand to kind of leave like a flat hand prints into the snow only to have the hand like come back and scoop snow like kind of swipe snow into the uh hand print to kind of cover them up the vistani look at uh a lot of you go ahead and make an insight check okay can i help him please uh you may all make an insight check can I help Sensuna with that natural 20? <laughs> no. Damn. Alright, hold on. Let me pull up my sheet. Ah, oh, I didn't get anything. Oh, that five. Watch this! Oh! That's pretty, it's pretty dope. It's Just pretty dope. Two natural 20s, damn it. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. What does Choggy's insight yield? Choggy! Chuggy? Aza? I'm probably gonna. And... Put somebody pour water on the frog. Ch -ch 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 Wait, Chuggy? You... Oh, there's Chuggy. Oh. Chuggy oh. is about to dry out. Oh, oh no, okay. Chuggy. Well, it's okay because there's a lake right there, as we can see. Yeah, there's quite a Don't lot of water, it. so you're fine. A lake it. and or river. Don't <laughs> trust it. We're gonna put actual normal water on Chuggy. <laughs> um. We're we're about uh, when when you tell this story, there's they're not as surprisingly they're not as enthralled by this one. Uh, Gray, you get the feeling that they've heard a variation of this story before. That being said, they are still they still approve of it. They're like, huh, that sounds harrowing, my friends. Gray, do you want to relay this information to us? Sorry, I fucking sneezed and I thought I felt another one coming. Uh, if you want to, you'll have to make a stealth check since they're right there. Are um, you stealthy? If not, I... I am I not stealthy, no. I have a I have a zero to stealth. Don't do it, my dude. Um, I, won't, later. I won't do anything. Uh, I will, however, to try to enthrall them more, kind of Un untie my sword from my belt and I'll like uh, plant it with the sheath like into the snow and I'll go but let it be known that this blade has now tasted the flesh of the Baron of Borovia and it is not afraid to do so again Stanimir will pipe up as you say that I don't think that is true, my friend. As you said, he put his finger upon the blade and did not draw blood. You carved into his flesh and it did not move. Yes, but... The true weapon is the intent you wield behind the weapon, not necessarily the weapon itself. And I proved to Strahd that night that I was not afraid. So on my mind, I see that as a victory. He could have killed us all. He could have. But again. Like, yes, um, he could have. 
cooler heads diffuse the situation. Well, it was definitely a fascinating tale. Come, you asked one of uh, our friend here, uh, and he Stanmere gestures to the woman. Perhaps, uh, perhaps my son can give you some different information. Different. You see, uh, Fatina here. She is well versed in lore. Grigori, on the other hand, he is more attuned with current events. A new story to share. I have one about an old manor and one about a resident of these lands, new like you. Which would you prefer? Above game, I'm interested in the manor story more. A manor would seemingly be a test. However, I would say that because we traded a tale that was for, of course, a certain area, and so I understand that we are not going to get that. Maybe a two for one bargain? Ah. Uh. Sadly, we are going to have to deny that. One story for one story, I'm afraid. And if you guys would like to hear about the manor. Yeah. I'm, I'll, I'm fine I'm with on. hearing about the manor. That, that interests okay. me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, then. In the midst of Barovia, there is a... Well, there is a manor. It sits atop a hill, not too far from here, a bit to the south. It is a rotting, old ruin. We have known about it for some time. It is known as Argenvastold. It is supposedly the lair of once mighty foe of Strahd. Now another monument to his power. Recently, however, there's rumors that the manor may be populated again. People have been wandering around on the inside, men in armor. The sightings are not very accurate, but that was the one unifying thing. The manor has been left to decay for a long time. There is yours easily identifiable by a large dragon statue at the front, and a large <clears throat> gaping wound on the manor along the side, crumbled from decay and damage. Perhaps battle damage? Perhaps time taking its toll? I do not know. And he clams up, finishing up. So, I think it is about time for you to meet Madam Ava. She said you would be ready at about, and he kind of points at the, the sky, uh, about when the sun was that high. And it's the second that he points up, uh, several Vistani kind of approach the, the campfire and says, The madam will see you all now. Ah, that makes sense. On time as usual. Go. You will have important things to learn, all of you. And Stanimir kind of waves you all off. Hello? I guess... Uh, no, hello. Yeah. I, I thought there was more. Yeah, same here. Yep. I guess we'll go, right? We're just going okay. over? Just making sure you didn't want to say anything else is all. I don't have anything else. No, I don't okay. have anything either. Neither do I. Uh, you approach. 
you approach the large tent in the back, and the moment that you get close, uh, who is in? I'm gonna I'm gonna need a uh, actual bit of a marching order on this one. Who's in front? Uh, not you, Gray. I'd like you to come in last. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, I can do that. I guess. All right. Uh, Hope will go in first. Don't know what happened to KD bot there. As soon as you approach, as soon as you approach the tent, you hear. Enter Hope. Um, I'll be on Hope's back like usual. All right, Froggy, you're or Choggy, you're allowed in too. Uh, KD bots ap- acting up. Don't worry, we don't have too much longer. Aww. Sad. Yeah. Uh, Lathuyalon will approach. And she goes, Lathuyalon, you're up next. Dagon, as you approach. Hurry up, Dagon. I don't have all day. Well, it seems my name is already known. As I'm you coming. walk up. As you walk up, Gray, uh, Madam Amy calls in. And now we just need you, Razvan. Oh. Oh. Do I make a check on that? <laughs> Go ahead. History what? check. History check? That is your old Barovian name. Fuck! The name that your parents gave you. Aw, oh, fuck. Above game, I wasn't even aware of that. Nice. Um, nice. how do you spell that? R A Z V A N. R A Z V A N. Okay. So Gray will obviously for a minute be like taken aback that somebody knows that, and then he he'll hesitate, but then he'll go in. And as you all enter, you see this individual. Oh, we're waiting for an image. Oh, ah. oh. oh fuck, she's got the deck! Uh-oh! <laughs> she's currently holding a deck of cards, looking at, down at the table, not even looking at all of you. You are here to learn your fates. And it's important that you learn it soon, I suppose. Come, sit down, and let's see what fate has in store for you. And that is where we're going to end the session today. Ah, oh, big yeah. pog. <laughs> Good mm. shit. Good freaking show, man. Oh, man. I was... I know you were surprised about that there, Gray, but, like... It occurred to me, like, during the two-week period that, hmm, Gray's not a very Barovian name. No, that makes sense. Yeah. I I, I didn't even think about the fact that Gray is probably not his real name. Especially because, like, your name is Gray Dragonbane, and it's like, you're playing as a weeb. It kind of makes sense that you would change your name. I assume I have a Barovian last name too. Will you? Would you be willing to send that to me? I can, in fact. Dope. Dope. I also, I did, I did think about telling you, Tart. I wanted to, but no. Thought, honestly, I'm glad you didn't because that was a bomb yeah. drop for me. <laughs> uh, how would everyone enjoy the little, uh, our, their little? chat today a lot of lore yes i was all about it a lot i nearly shit myself (laughs) well i mean i have i have gotten it all down incorrectly so i hope someone took notes frog notes are needed i took i took notes don't worry i probably didn't take as much as i might have wanted to originally but i definitely took notes
TARDIS are Lorax. <laughs> I, I, that is true, Sen. I want to see the the frog notes. <laughs> at frog some notes. Point. Frog notes. I will send some photos later. They're not wet. I'm gonna be disappointed. I'm not gonna wet. <laughs> Which reminds me, hey, <laughs> Sensuno, seeing as how you are the, or is it uh, would it be Sensuno or you, CG, that has like enough control over this entire uh. Discord, because if we get a chance, could we add, like, a section for our campaign that... Oh, uh, I believe Sensuna can, can go ahead and do that. I'm not sure... I'm not sure I have power. Wait, why don't I get muted? Uh -huh. Sensuna! <laughs> Sensuna fucking <laughs> doxed you, my man. Katie Ba is still not working, but Sensuna just said, because I have the power. I will remember this. I will remember this betrayal. I will remember this when we run the Tyranny of Dragons campaign. <laughs> Alright, everyone, okay. I'm pretty sure everyone's, like, it was a great session, guys. Oh, Fantastic. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a lot of fun. Already? <laughs> oh, you bastard! <laughs> oh. Discord fun! Discord All fun! Right. So where can we where can we find everyone? Let's start with uh, again. We'll go in reverse order. Uh, Haza, got mm -hmm. anything to plug? Yes. Wasn't Sensuna last last time? Sen shouldn't yes. Sensuna go first? <laughs> I always like to give Sensuna a little bit. However, yeah. oh yeah, that's true. Sensuna also can't talk right now. Yeah. But. Um, but uh... Yes, so you can find me over at twitch.tv forward slash hazard is my name, and that also on Twitter. Uh, I'm going to try to find time to finish um, Resident Evil this week, but I'm going to be hanging out with Corporal Canada 1, and we're going to be going through some Monkey Island. Yo. I, Yo. I, made, him, I made him get that game because he said, oh man, I love Grim Fandango. Oh, cool. Like you must uh, have you uh, have you ever heard uh, have you ever played Monkey Island? He goes, no, what's that? And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna fucking fix that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good call. Good call. Also, I didn't know when the fuck this happened. Curse is on Steam. Huh? Oh. Really? I was and not I'm, aware of that. Curse of Monkey Island, the best Monkey Island, is on Steam. So I guess that makes sense. I just didn't think about that ever. Yeah. Yeah, it was just super hard to get a get a hold of, but there it is. All right, that's it for me. Alrighty. Um, if you have everything, Sensuna, I can read that off for you. Uh, if not, we can come back. Haza is your name, huh? <laughs> Seems pretty sus. Uh, Dagan. Our boy J Frost, what you up to? Hey y'all, uh, you can find me on twitch.tv forward slash jfrost747. Uh, in just a little bit, I'll be doing some Left 4 Dead 2 with uh, Miss Canada. Uh, still looking for two more people if anyone's for it. But other than that, not a whole lot going on. I will, however, be attempting to stream next Sunday. The first of a probably gonna be a long number of streams. Medieval two, total Yo. war, and I'm Yo. gonna suck trying to conquer all of Europe and Yo. Asia and Africa. Time to bless the reins, am I right? Mm -hmm. We must retake Jerusalem. Dios Uh, and if that's everything for you. Uh, we have Sensuna. They can be found at twitch.tv slash Sensuna84. Uh, they will be continuing, uh, continue to cutest horror game ever with Yumari Night Alone at some y point this week. Yomawari. Yomawari. I disagree you, because man. that, that game has a horrible incident in, like, the very beginning of it that upsets me greatly. 
But that being said, everything besides that, it is very cute, yes. <laughs> you play as a as a tiny little Japanese girl who is the cartoon style and the design is very cute. So it's a reverse isekai. Sure. <laughs> and last but not least, the channel owner won Farting Tart, Pudding Pastry, yes. and not DM Extraordinaire tonight, but DM Extraordinaire on other nights. Yes. Yeah. I am the Humble Dumble Master on Monday nights for War of the Shared Sun right here on twitch.tv slash farting tart. Uh, I can also be seen other days, um, such as on Thursdays for URW United Reality Wrestling, where soon, within the next uh, couple weeks, we'll be having our next pay-per-view, The Return of Breakthrough. And then, of course... I play variety games. Uh, I play a bunch of games with friends. Uh, I'm. My plan is to try to stream tomorrow, but I might not have time. So we're going to see what happens. But. It's okay. I'm going to do what I can. Um, But I have someone for us to raid if you guys are ready. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, who are we going to get? We are going to raid. Our dearest M and W friend, the one and only Mandalu. Yeah. Who is currently doing the return to Pixelmon. So go show them some love. Again, I may be back tomorrow. We'll find out. Uh, but I hope everyone has a lovely night. Thank you, gentlemen and Sensuna, uh, for joining me tonight. I hope everybody has a lovely night, and we will see you all later. Goodbye, everybody! Bye! Night!